Hello. Hi. The music is like so epic today. <laughs> I put on different music and it's like cinematic, like beautiful. I'm like in Lord of the Rings. I do love it here. Um, hello. Welcome to the Scream Stream. Happy Scream Stream Sunday, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are here after the stream is already up, I will have timestamps for you down below. But as always, I got to set up the stream. So I will be right with you. You guys, I built a chair. I built a new office chair. I have a story about this, but I think I'm gonna save it for a YouTube video. Low key, kind of think I experienced a glitch in the matrix. Spooky. Um, revolving around partially this chair, but uh, your girl finally got a new chair and it's so comfy. It's one of those like really cool, like, I can never figure out which way to move so you can like, you, uh, uh, I can't talk. You guys can see stuff, but. I love it. It's pretty. It's pink. It's slay. Okie dokie. Man, I don't know if I can do this music today. I did like it when I was by myself. <laughs> it felt like I was in like a fun, like, like cinematic universe. But now that I'm here, I just want like my usual stuff i also hope the audio is okay i told you guys before but i have like a fan running in the back um because it's been pretty hot here the last few days hi mods thanks for being here happy sunday hi guys i can't even hear anything Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the same playlist I always have on. <laughs> it's like the only one I don't get copyright struck for. Hi guys, happy Sunday. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, I think we're good there. I actually turned down the music a teensy bit. I've been uh, toying with my setup a lot lately for streaming, um, which I know I've told you guys a couple of times, um, but I did like some major upgrades and things that didn't quite end up working out. Because I really like streaming and I wanna be able to do it like more consistently, I'd love to be on a basis where I have a schedule, you know, like a, like a firm, like I show up at this time and we stream like, you know, more than one day a week for sure. Um, and uh, that was Maka barking. Don't don't join in. You don't even. Oh my god, Annie got groomed today. She looks so cute. Um, so still toying with things. Still not completely sure where I'm at. But I got a new chair and it's really cozy. It's real comfy. But I think I need to lift my monitor again. I don't know. Anyways. Um, Rose the Red said hello. Hello to you, Rose the Red 16. Thank you so much for your super chat. I really appreciate the support. And then hello to Kylantis as well. The chair is so cute with the ears. I, um, it actually comes with, oh, I, I took them off. It came with these bunny ears that like go on the chair. Like they like slip into these little pouches back here. But I took them off because I wasn't sure how I liked them with like they basically sit like this, you know what I mean? And I, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, but maybe I'll put them on. Thank you so much for joining the membership, Sydney Rhodes. Welcome, welcome, happy to have you here. Okay, I should probably tweet out that I'm live. 
post my little my little updates. Raina! Raina, I'm happy you're here. You don't have to do all that. Thank you so much for five gifted memberships. That's so generous of you. If you guys end up getting a membership tonight um, or anytime, really, don't forget that there is members exclusive content on my channel. So if you end up getting a membership, head on over to that tab. There's like a members only like video playlist. There's, um, excuse me, there's like my diary entries, my daily updates. And it's really sad because Fan House is closing. So that's about to be my, my, my only extra platform, I think, for not a little bit, but until I figure out where to go next. Anyways, Reyna, I love you so much. You're an angel. Thank you. Miranda, happy five months. I was literally tagging you in 20 TikToks right now. I cannot wait to see what they were. And then Tanya Meyer, uh, thank you so much for one month. Love you. And I'm so happy you're here to catch a live. Millie Perez, thank you so much for the super chat. I just turned 19. I got a tramp stamp. Hell yeah, you did, baby. Happy birthday, Millie. Happy Sunday right back to you. I love you so much. And the Novacore, thank you so much for the gifted. You guys are so sweet. Happy Sunday. Happy Scream Stream Sunday. Okay, I should really... I try so hard to remember to do this early in the stream. Like, like send out the... um the uh, I'm live, you know, post. So I'll try to get it done kind of quickly. Um, you okay down there, bud? Oh my God, you guys, Annie got groomed. She looks so cute. I'm teasing the people that I'm making a big announcement today. But if you were at the end of the last stream, you also heard the big announcement. Um, so keep that in mind. <laughs> um, we are going to have a really fun Sunday today. A very fun Sunday. A very fun stream stream. But this is going to be the last like reaction stream like this um for a little bit and there's a reason why it's a very good reason and i will be telling you in a moment next sunday we i want to make i want to be able to look at you when i say this so let me tweet out that i'm live everywhere <laughs> um but we're doing something really fun so just hold your breath for like well don't hold your breath the whole time okay don't be holding your breath for too long. Also, you guys, friendly reminder that the rules that the mods put in chat are my rules. They are the rules of being able to chat in my live stream. And if you break those rules, you will be timed out and repeated offensive offenses will get you banned. And I know that probably doesn't sound very fun. So don't do it. Listen to the mods is now among the rule set. <laughs> All right, let me tweet this. <laughs> okay.
All right. It is tweeted. It is uh, Instagrammed. It unfortunately also needs to be <laughs> threaded. <laughs> um, also, I will get to Super Chats and stuff in a second. Um, God, I hate Twitter so much. I hate that app. I hate that app so much. I opened the freaking app to tweet out that I was live and it's just like the two things I saw on there were just so horrendously bad. It's just a website that makes me feel bad. I just don't like being there. That's why I'm trying to switch over to threads. God, I hate Twitter. Um... Not for any of my own personal reasons either. It's it's literally just that I always see the craziest stuff on there. The worst things as well. Um. Okay. So, we will not be doing a reaction stream next Sunday. I encourage you, if you have not already uh, gotten your drink, gotten your snack to treat yourself and maybe take a little sip because I got some news for you. I'll be putting this in the comment section of this video after it goes up, but in case you missed it, last stream, I will be reminding you pretty much every single day uh, for the <laughs> next week, we are doing a charity stream next week. We're doing a charity stream next week. Um, I'm gonna be working with Make-A-Wish to raise some money next week. So next Sunday is a super, 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 super special stream. I'm so excited and nervous. I, it will be the longest I've ever streamed. We're gonna start like earlier in the day. Um, I'm figuring out time still. But yeah, make a wish stream next week, um, next Sunday. So the 23rd, please mark your calendars. I really appreciate your support here on my streams it um it's been overwhelming uh, um how generous with your time um and support that you have been to me directly and so uh i i really wanted to do kind of like something big for fundraising this summer um and i i just knew that i could rely on you i knew that i could ask you to to do it with me so yeah charity stream i'm so excited what somebody said why is it just a black screen i it shouldn't be but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It'll be so much fun. We are going to have so much fun. I'm gonna be playing the Five Nights at Freddy's games. We're gonna raise money and it's gonna be great. Yeah. Chat's a little weird. Is the stream being funky? I, don't, I, I hope it's being normal. Will there be a theme for charity stream? Yes, we are going to play Five Nights at Freddy's. Sorry, I just said that. I'm not sure which games I wanna play yet, um, but yeah, we're gonna play the Five Nights at Freddy's games and talk about the lore and talk about the creepy stuff behind it and just, it'll be like my longest stream so far. I'm so excited. So. Okay, I can't wait until next Sunday. I just wanted to remind you all, I'll be having in some fun guests and, um, you know, it, it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to read the super chats now, but that's the announcement. Charity stream next Sunday. It's going to be so much fun. So um, I won't uh, do an extra stream this week just so I can like rest up and be ready to stream for a really long time on Sunday. Excuse me. Um, so our next like reaction stream like this won't be for like two weeks. I'll, I'll see you guys like the Sunday after that for um, or, or that week, you know. So. 
which FNAF games? I'm still trying to figure that out, Josie. I, I, I'm not sure. I was thinking about the first three, but I've also, I feel like, I feel kind of like FNAF 1 for me. I've played it before. It feels so like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking either all the first three or two, three, and then sister location. Cause that's the order, right? Sister location is after three. Um, but yeah. Oh my God. Sorry. Rob, Rob Pr Prudhomme. Thank you so much for 10 gifted. Ah, oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much going on. I'm so sorry. Rod, that's incredibly generous of you. Thank you very, very much for that. Um, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. I. That's so nice. And so many people in the community just got a membership. Thank you so much. Uh, Donna May, thank you so much for the super chat. Sorry, I'm a little delayed here, but... Um, did I get a chance to read your story and see your fan art? I have not yet. I haven't been on my story time email um, in maybe like a week and a half. I've, I've been really backlogged with some stuff. It's been kind of a hectic week on my end, <laughs> but um, thank you so much for your sweet message. I love you too. Um, in terms of how one becomes a mod, we did mod applications. Um, earlier well like maybe like a month ago so we just picked a couple of new ones but um you can join the discord and they announce it there when we need some extra help um and yeah but thank you so much i love you too athena hi i'm so glad to be live and i'm sorry you're having a bad week i love you Jose Faction said, no way, you're going to watch Bizarre Bub. I see that thumbnail for this stream. So excited. Yeah, Jose, we watch Bizarre Bub videos like, like every other Sunday. Oh, man. That's so weird. I don't know if the, um, the YouTube website like i don't know if the website's glitching or if it's me sorry weird some people are having people are having trouble everybody's saying this people are having trouble <laughs> my mods included um with the the youtube app i don't know what's up but yeah jose thanks for hanging out with us today and then Aster, welcome to the channel memberships. Happy to have you here. Also, Rob Prudhomme, thank you again for the 10 gifted. And also, thank you for joining the channel memberships yourself. I'm so honored to have you here. And then Official Terror Spooky said, I just finished the other two streams I missed. Dang, girl, that's dedication. Thank you so much. I'm happy you're here. Hi, Yana. I see, um, I've seen this. A new video series on McKamey Manor is out. So I was going to stream to it. Um, I think it's in the process of updating. I don't know. Weird. It's not a lot of people either. It's just I've seen I've seen enough people say that it's glitching to realize something's going on with YouTube also. So I'm glad that they seem OK. I'm just worried. Um, uh, Killis, that's true. Yeah. Layers of fear. Honestly, the themes of mental health are just a little much for me right now. I love that game, but I think that I need to be in a slightly better mental state to play it than I'm in. I've been having a really tough like couple of weeks um, and just haven't felt up to playing it. But I will as soon as I can. And I do love that game. Um, but OK, Yana, yes, there is a new video series on McKamey Manor. What is that creator's name? Let me look this up. Okay, it's by Reckless Ben, and I haven't watched it yet. I, I haven't been able to decide if I want to react to it or not, and I want to check with him first. So, like, I don't know. Like, usually, I mean, usually when I'm... Oh my God, Anne. <laughs> usually when I'm watching YouTube videos, it's like, 
I don't know. I, I feel like it's a little bit different with something like a like a like a documentary like that. Like I feel like I'd want to ask first um, because obviously I react to videos all the time. But I don't know. I just want to double check. But and also I think it's really intense. It's really intense. And I'm also not in a state to go back to McCamey Manor right now. Uh, literally and uh, mentally. Cassie, you fruit up. Oh no, you fruit up, honey. <laughs> I'm excited you're here to chill with me and chat. I love you, Cassie. Chihuahua, my beloved. <laughs> Thank you so much for 10 months. You freaking angel. What? 10 months? I literally saw the six and I went, oh, that's 10. Thank you so much for being a member for 16 months. Chihuahua? My best friend, actually. I I love Morgan. Morgan C. Hey, Morgan C. <laughs> I love that you've given me an out, and I love you so much, Morgan. <laughs> if you don't know the lore, I mispronounce Morgan's last name in every single stream. Um, yes, Colin the Unicorn said, people with blurry screens. Okay, yes. it's uh, YouTube has been defaulting to 480p for me as well lately on live streams. So double check that the resolution isn't really, um, really low. But Morgan, Morgan C, uh, I'm glad it's not just difficult for me, but sorry to hear. Just had a salted caramel brownie for girl dinner. Happy Sunday, hope your week is great. Now's a wonderful time to announce to you, just for you, Morgan, we're gonna have girl dinner together. You had your salted caramel brownie and I have <laughs> an Uncrustable that's been thawing on my desk now for 22 minutes. I've just been sitting here with an Uncrustable, like letting it slowly to thaw. There's nothing more sacred than a 30 year old lady and her Uncrustable sandwich. So I'm happy to also be having girl dinner with you. Shadow Flower is 16. I can't wait for the charity stream. Love you. I can't wait either. I, I'm honestly just so freaking excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're going to have so much fun. We're going to raise so much money. It's going to be such a good stream. I just, I'm, I'm excited to do, I'm excited to do something like that. Like it just, it feels so cool. Like, I don't know. I'm sitting here playing with my Uncrustable, giving you Uncrustable ASMR, but I'm so excited. <laughs> girl dinner everybody sharing their girl dinner um and then blue mind top of the evening to you uh <laughs> blue mind my beloved but top of the evening to you mcqueen as i was having my girl dinner i thought to myself if you are my queen can i be your jester <laughs> love and light to you i love you so much i love you so very much blue mind you always make my day with your little messages um you can be the jester if you're in a silly, goofy mood, if, 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 if it pleases you. But I do not think of you as a jester. I think of you as fellow royalty. I love you so much. MS, welcome to the channel memberships. And then, hey, Shane does YouTube. Hey again to you. How am I doing? I'm good. I'm honestly a little um, over caffeinated as I'm on my third shot of espresso of the day. I haven't seen you guys in Annie. I haven't showed you Annie. Sorry, this um, chair is like locked in the back still. I'm still figuring it out, but the wheels lock. And so um, I don't know where she is. Oh, she's laying down right now. If she comes back in here, yeah, I'll absolutely show her. But she got the cutest freaking um, um, uh, groom today. Her little, her little like fur looks so cute. But I'm doing good, Shane does YouTube, also to answer your question. I'm a little over caffeinated. Um, excited to be eating my girl dinner on stream in the form of an uncr- Kimberly, you don't know what an Uncrustable is? It's so good, it's so freaking good. It's basically a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but it goes in the freezer. Yes, Jeremy, this is the chair I told you about. I have a weird story about this chair. Thank you so much, Shane. Does YouTube, I love you. 
And thanks for being here again. Hey, Eddie Spaghetti. Louie, this is so off topic, but I need you to know that there is a life of luxury fanfic and a fandom on Tumblr. Of course there is. It's Tumblr. They would eat this up. God, that's iconic. It's honestly, it, it, man, I love them together. That's my ship and I'm, I'm sailing with it and I'm sinking with it. Um, Parker X Chester forever. We also are going to watch that other, um, Life of Luxury video, but we're going to do it at the end of the stream. Um, because I feel bad <laughs> making people who are here to watch actual scary videos watch the Life of Luxury video first. Um, I just feel bad, <laughs> you know? Like last stream, everybody knew what they were getting into. I feel like I can't just like throw Life of Luxury out there to like people who like earnestly want to get a little spooked, you know? Like then it's not funny. <laughs> then it's not iconic. And, and Life of Luxury is so camp and it deserves to be loved. Not to mislead people. Three shots of espresso. Wow, my stream is so behind. That's crazy. Um. Thank you so much, Eddie Spaghetti. MS, thank you so much for your first ever super chat. I love you, you beautiful creature. And hi, right back. And then you sent, I think, I think you're the same MS. You sent another one without a message, but I appreciate you and the support so much more than I can say. Thank you very, very much. Um, and then uh, Marisha Sanders, I saw yours and it, honestly, that was why I started reading the, the um, super chats again, because I felt like I wanted to read this so badly as fast as possible. Um, you were a Make-A-Wish kid. Uh, Marisha says that uh, I was a Make-A-Wish kid. This means so much to me. Thank you, Loey. Thank you for being here tonight and for saying that and for supporting me. I'm very excited. Um, yeah. Eee. To do something like that, like so official and like we, we give the money straight to them and like get to just see like what we're contributing and the impact that we can have. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. And then uh, Zena Copeland having this on while writing fan fiction. Slay. What are you writing fan fiction of? If you feel like sharing with the class, of course. December Christman. Thank you so much for joining the channel members. Uh, uh, uh. Channel member ships. And then also Maz... Mastodic? <laughs> Thanks so much for two years. Thanks for 24 months. Um, that's a long time to be in the channel memberships. Thank you. Wyatt, I love you. Uh, Wyatt said, I've been so busy. I've missed your stream so much. I have an audition in two, two days. Wish me luck. You truly helped me to de-stress. I love you so much, Wyatt. Thank you so much for being here. I'm happy you made it. Paranormal Adventure Allie. Hey, friend. How are you? I love you. Um, welcome to the channel memberships. Happy to have you here. Shane, does YouTube ask if I'll be watching the FNAF movie when it comes out? Yes. Yes. Wait, can I talk about movies? I don't think that I can talk about movies anymore, actually. Um, no. <laughs> I cannot talk about movies anymore, I just realized. Um, so I will be, um following SAG, uh, the, the SAG striked strike guidelines. Um, so from here on out, that's also a big thing is we're not really going to be talking about like movies or like stuff like that. It's kind of crazy. I didn't realize how much the strike would, um, kind of affect our guidelines as well of like things that we can, uh, things we can say and do and, um, promote and talk about. So, yeah, I'll be trying my best to adhere to those guidelines. It's kind of like a crazy world, but the strike is for the best, um, the best reasons. So, yeah, we don't cross picket lines in this household. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of crazy. If you haven't looked into the strike stuff, you really should. It's like, it's, it's, it is some of like the craziest like i know that that seems strict too i just saw somebody say like it's so strict i at first thought that too i was like these are really strict guidelines but like what sag is striking for is so monumental and like 
the people who are working their asses off for um for e just even remotely fair pay in the industry for rights over ai like things like that um it, it is like it is such an important and monumental fight so yeah we support workers in this house and we don't cross picket lines so <laughs> no <laughs> To re-answer that question, I'm sorry that turned in. I know that you sent in that super chat with the best intentions, uh, Shane. You're the sweetest ever. But honestly, this is a good time to talk about it because it's really popular. Uh, popular what? It's it, popular. Um, it, it, it's still quite... What is the word I'm looking for here? Viral right now? Um, and I know that that virality will subside a bit as the strike continues. So I think that it's really important to talk about these things. Um, but yeah, if you're curious about it, look up the picket line. Um, the picket line. Look up the strike rules. I hope that I, I hope I explain that semi well. And I'll just be doing my best the whole time. And if I slip up, um, you know, uh, I, I'll immediately correct myself, but that's just not. Yeah, we support workers. Support the strike. No crossing picket lines. Okay. <laughs> Shane, thank you again for that super chat. <laughs> Sorry that launched me into such a speech. Frog said, yay, another Sunday scream stream. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you, friend. Thanks for being here. Oh, December Christmas said I joined and it didn't say my name. It said it back in mine. It may have just been backlogged, so it didn't come up on the screen. I'm sorry, friend. Thank you so much for being here, and thanks for joining. Zoe, thanks for one month. Uh, you said, Halo, you've been here since 2016. Love you so much. I love you more. Thanks for spending so much time with me. That's a long time. Large chested amphibian, my beloved big breasted frog. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. We Wait. We got a large chested amphibian name reveal or not necessarily a name reveal simply a name we're allowed to call them reveal they said lowey i feel like i should reveal my true big booby frog identity so you can call me lydia <laughs> but sh it's a secret i love you i love you too lydia <laughs> that's a pretty name rose welcome to the channel memberships and then molly said hi hello -y. so happy to finally catch a live love uh watching your videos while i'm working around the house feels like i'm spending time with a friend i'm glad that it feels like that molly because it feels like that for me too thank you so much thanks for being here and thanks for your first ever super chat that's so kind of you shane yes um girl dinner is an all-inclusive uh, girl dinner does not um, any, anyone can have girl dinner, but we could have dinners of any kind, truly. NB dinner has a great ring to it. Dude dinner, if, if, if you identify, if you like the word dude, it's a concept. It's a concept, you know? God, I love Uncrustables. <laughs> They're just so good. I really, like, have started letting myself have them on stream days, too. Because <laughs> I have them in my freezer. And if I have no guidelines on the Uncrustable, I will eat, a, like, an Uncrustable a day. And dear God, I would like to. Um... But Shane, girl dinner is anything you want it to be. Anything forever. Nicholas Cherrywood, thank you so much for the super chat. And then thank you for the super chat, Check Shrek is God. Also you uh, for the super chat, Angel Dean. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate your support so much. None of you left a message, but thank you. I appreciate you, your angels. And then CJX Lovely said, thank you for helping me through my chronic pain today, hun. I'm so glad that you're spending your time with me. Thanks for hanging out. Um, and I, I hope it can maybe, you know, brighten it a teensy bit. <laughs> 
Yeah, Cassie. It's literally Uncrustables and Hibachi for stream days. It is uh, Uncrustables and Hibachi, and that is that is the stream day menu in terms of what I eat. Mac said, hi, hello, my love. Hope you're doing well today. I am, Mac. I love you so much. Thanks for being here, Angel. J, <laughs> J Scope, thanks for the super chat. I appreciate you so much. And then Nicholas Cherrywood, welcome to the channel memberships. I'm so honored and happy to have you here. Thanks for all the support tonight. Um. Oh, Xena. Wait, Xena, you're writing high school music. Xena, this is huge. Oh my god, wait. Xena just did an AO3 reveal. Okay. Xena's writing Chad X Ryan HSM, which I think means high school musical, right? I wasn't really a big high school musical girly, I'll be so honest with you. But uh Xena is also Bumblebee XE on AO3. And then my Evie dear, I'm so happy you're here. I hope you're feeling okay post-surgery. I know you were able to pop in on Friday, but um, you said just tucked in the pup for bed, got my water and ready for stream time. I'm so happy you're here. Again, I hope you're feeling well. And I'm sending you still so much positive energy and love. Becca Gertz, welcome to the channel memberships. Nikki C, happy to see you. Time to enjoy another good stream while enjoying a cold beer. Wow, I'm enjoying a cup of coffee out of a horror movie themed mug that is covered in my lipstick. Wow. That's like a crazy lipstick mark. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Nikki. Captain K got called in for work tomorrow when I was only supposed to work Tuesday and Saturday and you're a bit annoyed about it. So hopefully being here will help. I hope it brightens your day a teensy tiny baby bit, Mr. Mr. Wait, Captain K. I don't know why I just called you Mr. K. I... <laughs> Do I associate the word captain with like a masculine i don't know i just realized that i do that like i think captain and i think like that's a masculine phrase sorry captain k <laughs> for assuming that um i'm really happy you're here and i'm sorry about that i hope that tomorrow goes really 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 quickly and that they're paying you extra because they should be thank you so much Hi, Mad Dog 432 You said, hey, Loey, my eyes hurt, so I'm mainly listening, but I'm here for the stream regardless. Love you and the pups. Love you, Mad Dog. Happy you're here. Um, I actually had that happen to me, too. I had a migraine for, like, three days, and um, it really hurt behind my eyes, and I think it was because I was on my screens too much. I just, like, wasn't taking a break. Oh, I wasn't taking a break at all. Actually, I wanted to talk about that. Thank you so much for bringing that up, Mad Dog. Um, so you might hear an alarm go off. <laughs> during the stream. I need to start taking breaks when I stream. I've realized that I feel really crappy. Um, so I've been, I, I just started doing this. This is my visual timer. It's made for children. It helps me with everything. I time everything I do with this. It's great. It helps me get so much done, but this is going to help me take a step um, away from the computer, remind me to take a break. And then I know if I don't step away immediately, you guys will yell at me because I need to start doing that <laughs> both for myself for the dogs like I just I, I need to be like getting up stretching like moving for a second so oh it's an Amazon timer Brenna I can add it to my Amazon um, store later but I really like it if you just look up visual timer if you want it now you might just see it in there but this was like a color variation I have a pink one but I liked this one so much um, I'll, again, I'll add it later, but if you don't want to wait, just, um, search like visual timer and then hopefully you'll be able to find that one. Love you, mad dog. I hope your eyes feel better. Trippy trash said first live. Love you. Please show the animals if pause. Good gravy. Everyone's snoozing. What the heck? Everybody's snoozing. That's crazy. Hades is like. They're all very chill today. It's been so hot, honestly, and today was kind of a big day. Um, I, well, we played outside for a bit because I, I have to play with them on stream days for a little bit because otherwise they get very, um, very just 
crazy when I stream, honestly. But I just, I don't like to put them in their crates when I stream. I feel better with them out. It makes me feel more like, like it's just like normal and I'm hanging out with my friends. I just, I think it, I think it helps me and my mental health. Um, but we played and then Annie got groomed. So she's exhausted. She's just like out, out. And then I gave them all a treat. So I'll show them as soon as I can, Trippy Trash. I'm so sorry <laughs> that I can't show any now. Momo said, Queen, hi. After watching your new Backrooms vid, fire by the way. And knowing you like K-pop, I got to suggest Cards music video for Icky. Very Backrooms. Okay, I'm writing it down, Momo. If K-pop lover 1994 backup was here, they would love that. Can you imagine, can, can you imagine listening back to one of my streams, knowing that you had missed a stream and that you just had talked to me a couple of times, but knowing that you've had such an impact on my brain that I remember your whole username and notice when you aren't here. I promise you it happens more often than you guys think. Like I just start to remember you guys. Um, what was I just looking for? What was I going to show you guys? Oh, I was I was writing down that list. This is why I need a timer because my my brain needs to chill out sometimes. It gets a little it gets a little nuts up there. Like I need to start taking like like two minutes at a time just to stand up. Like have I drink water in the last forty five minutes? You know. Okay, so card, icky, music video. I love that. I love, um, that's why I love K-pop. Sorry, it just, re it auto-corrected it to cart and I know I won't remember, so I'm changing it. Okay, so that's why I love K-pop though, is because like, I feel like K-pop music videos, like just have so, like the story is so good. The story is just so good. I don't know. Of course I remember you, Zaina. Zaina's duh. You message me all the time. I love you. I know you. Yeah, drink water, actually. And and here's the thing. When my timer goes off in like one minute, okay? Oh, and you guys don't get to hear the little, the little... Your alarm clock is going off ASMR. <laughs> you guys will hear the little uh, beep beep. And you can change the amount of time that it beeps. It'll only beep for three seconds unless you change it on the back. I change it to beep for 60 seconds because sometimes, like, I like I need to get up and physically turn it off, you know? But you'll be able to hear it. Hannah, thanks for one month. You're looking so gorgeous today. I love you so much. And then Matthew Crawford, hey, hi babes, three months in on top surgery. Thanks for keeping me company while I work on my Etsy. I'm so proud of That's the beep. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> okay, so stop everything you're doing. I'm gonna finish reading this and then I'll take my break. Stop everything you're doing. Have you taken your meds today? Hmm? Have you taken, no, go take them. Okay, have you drank water? Have you thought about water? Time to drink water, mine has pink lemonade mix in it. I also have regular water, but you know, it's so exciting. Have you eaten in the last little bit? Are you hungry? Do you need to go potty? Do your dogs need to go potty? They really don't. I really will just be taking this break entirely for <laughs> myself. <laughs> um, but I love you, Matthew. I, I hope you're feeling okay, Angel. And and recovering and yeah. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Water, aka Starbucks, no Brenna. And then Shane does YouTube said having a girl <laughs> a grilled cheese for my girl dinner. Yes you are, Icon. Yes you are. Alright, time to take a little break. Time to take a little breather. Take a second. I'm going to leave you guys with the music. We'll be on a BRB. When we come back, we'll talk just a minute or two more, and then we'll get started on videos, okay? All right. Take care of your. This is our time to take care of ourselves. Go do it. Digi. <laughs> Welcome to the channel membership. So happy to have you here. Okay, BRB. 
Oh, just kidding. That's the intermission screen. I never use the screen anymore. I used to use this all the time on Twitch. And then I just stopped using it. Okay, sorry. Be right back. I'm back. Okay. I think that's good for us, right? I think, I think that's really healthy. I think that if we all make sure on our Sunday, you know, that we take a second. We, we take a second to self-care, you know? All right. So then it's so fun, right? Okay. So it, it you turn off the timer and then you just... I feel like if nothing has ever sold you on a product more 
I would sell you on this. I love this thing. It's it it really helps me. I'm really sorry because I saw this comment. Oh, actually, Brie Horn, thank you so much for joining the channel memberships. Welcome, welcome. Friendly reminder, you guys, I said it earlier, but if you end up getting a membership to the channel tonight or anytime, really, um, don't forget that you have an entire member side to the channel. It's not just um, a way to support me, although I do appreciate that so much. You also get extra members content, including my diary entries and like my close friends stories and like extra videos and stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm about to start posting on there like 24 seven. Because with Fan House gone, I <laughs> I have nowhere to shitpost in the middle of the night. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's not gone. Fan House isn't gone. But I feel like it's gone and it makes me sad. Anyways. So. But yes. Timer. I love the timer. Earlier though, somebody said... Somebody said something akin to... Um, like that they always have to time everything because they have time blindness and i've never really known if like i've never really used that term i think but i definitely experienced that as well like i have no concept of how long things will take and like hey <laughs> lila um i yeah i feel like that's not what time blindness is but i i'll have no concept of how long things will take complete then i won't know where all the time has gone oh dreamy muse what happened to fan house it is getting merged with the weirdest company i've ever seen in my life um at the end of the month so i will not be merging with it i joined fan house to support my friend and my friend was the co-founder and my friend walked away so I just, I don't really want to support whatever the, <laughs> the next platform is. Um, I'm echoing. I don't think I'm echoing, honey. I shouldn't be. Nothing else would be playing any of my audio, so I'm not sure why. It's just like, for people asking what it is, it was just like an extra content platform. Like it was like my, it was like a Patreon. So that's basically what it was. It was just like a, another platform that I have. And I still have it. Um, you can still go see all the posts and stuff while they're still up. I had so much fun on there. Like so much fun. I've done like, like just stuff I wouldn't post on YouTube usually, so. And I love my community on there and I still love them. <laughs> it makes me really sad. Supergeek333, thanks so much for this super chat. I appreciate that so much. And I appreciate your support. Digi said, hey, Loey, so glad I didn't get called to the hospital tonight for work so I can make the stream and do a little drawing. I'm ready for the spooks. Ooh, I'm so excited that you're here. And that you didn't get called in for work. <laughs> also happy for that. Fawn, I love your name. Loey girl, you're always streaming when I have to wake up early. We'll stick around for a few minutes. Well, I hope that you're still here. It took me a minute to get to that, but I love you so very, very much. And I'm so happy you're here, but I'm sorry you have to wake up early. And then Pumpkin Queen said, I need a Mikey and Loey haunted house fit in my life. Honestly, I'm so down for that. I know she's so down for that. So... <laughs> Oh, yay, Abby Taurus. I'm glad you're here then. Man, YouTube is being funky, huh? Wait, what? Oh, Maple was explaining. Oh, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I have dogs now. <gasps> is Annie in here? Oh my God. Do you guys want to see this little like cinnamon loaf? She looks so cute. Hold on. Hold on.
Okay, I was <laughs> I was turning off the mic because I knew that the dogs were gonna throw a fit over this. She looks so cute. Oh, you're so cute. You're a little baby. You're a tiny baby. Yes, you are, and you look so pretty, and you smell so good. You smell like a little baby. You smell like a little tiny baby. You smell like the cleanest baby in the whole wide world. Yes, you do. This dog always tries to take off my shirt when I put her on camera. Hi, Mommy. Look, look over here. Whoa! Whoa! She looks so cute. You look so cute. You're a beautiful baby and your groomer put the nicest, prettiest bandana on you. And that was so nice of her. And she did it because she thinks you're the cutest little doggy. The cutest little doggy. Oh my God, I love this dog. I, would, I could pop her in my mouth like, like, like an Uncrustable. I could just eat her whole. She's so cute and she smells so good. She smells like pure baby powder. Yes, you do. I want them to be able to see your beautiful, wonderful face. You don't want them to? You're a little shy. A little shy. A little shy. There's going to be, there's, somebody is going to argue with me when I put her on the ground. So I'm turning off the mic again. <laughs> I knew that Maka would be the one who would embarrass me as well. I knew that it would be her. Maka. Man, the holding Annie is a workout. She's a big freaking, big freaking pup. All right, I'm gonna read the rest of the super chats and then we'll get to the new Bizarre Bub vid. Isn't Annie so stinking cute? I love her so much. Know that every single one of these dogs has had the most massive treat. Also, I had to, oh my God, I had to cut my nails down. Um, I had the prettiest like, like Barbie pink nails and um, they were a little bit too long and I knew that, but I was still like really enjoying them. <laughs> and the other day, um, it was after streaming last time actually, cause I still had my nails long then. Um, I went outside and what happened? I don't remember, but I was like sitting down in my, one of my lawn chairs just to like sit and hang it out <laughs> with the dogs and you know, is Maka's name from Soul Eater? It is kitten, it is. But I was sitting down in my chair and I like slammed my nail against the chair and it it's not broken. But it's like, I like jammed my finger. Like it hurts so bad. So I had to cut down on my nails before I did it to another one and then this finger hurts so bad. Whoever has their period right now, I'm cramping so bad, so I feel you. I'm really sorry YouTube is acting funky. I got so hot. It is so hot. <laughs> I'm glad I have a working fan now. You know, after the electrocution incident. Super Geek 333, have I already said thank you so much for that super chat? Yes, I did. Okay. And then Pumpkin Queen, thank you again. Kara said, Loe, I love you so much, Stan Jello Man. Indeed, indeed, Stan, our beloved Jello Man. I love you, Kara. Thank you so much for being here. Angel Buggy, welcome to the channel memberships. And then also, welcome Sweet Sacks to the channel memberships. Mandy Days, thank you so much for five gifted memberships. That's so very generous of you. And congratulations to the community members that just got their memberships. Um, Ra asked, do you like vanilla pudding? I love vanilla pudding. Hmm, I'm more of like a chocolate chocolate pudding kind of gal, personally. But uh, thank you so much for one month also. But I have like those little pudding cups in the, um, the fridge that are like the chocolate with like a little bit of like a vanilla in them. They're really good, like the swirls. Um... Oh, 
Super Geek 333 you also said hello I'm having so much fun sitting with you and knitting a sweater for a lobster plush which I also knitted you are the coolest person I've ever met in my entire life and I love you so much Addie said I burned myself making girl dinner but everyone loved it so it's okay I'm so sorry <laughs> that happened but Congratulations on a delicious girl dinner. Um, also, you changed your name since last stream. A pretty baby. Love all your animals. Love you, Angel. Thanks for being here. Love you. I'm happy to see you. And Kara also said, Loey, I love you so much and you're so pretty. Stand Jello Man. Man, the Jello Man is getting some love in chat tonight. Care oh, Mac, thank you so much for one gifted. That's so kind of you. My Evie dear said that uh, they're doing all right. Thanks for asking. Call me stupid. I fell yesterday. No, not stupid. Not stupid at all. Um, but I, I understand that like that kind of stuff can obviously happen out of nowhere. And I can also imagine that's really scary. I'm glad that it's not any worse than a bruise, but I love you so much. I love you so much and I'm glad you're feeling okay. Digi said uh, that their BF's out getting girl dinner for me. Pizza day. Oh my god, yum. Where from though? Like, where are we getting the pizza from? Um, please tell. <laughs> Sammy Smith also said, hi, I just joined and I love you so much. I love you too, Sammy. Thanks for being here. Janeth, uh, Janeth, sorry, I thought I had said it wrong. Uh, 1331, welcome to the channel memberships. And then Angie Cardona said, hey, Louie, love you. I love you, Angie. Sushi girl dinner for me. Scrumptious, delicious. Would I tell you all that Annie smells like a newborn baby? She smells so freaking good, and I just don't know what they put on her to make her smell that good, but my God, she smells so good. She smells like a little, like, just like a little baby. I love her so much. <laughs> is this what newborns smell like to people <laughs> who, like, want kids? Like, this dog smells so good. Ooh, girl dinner of buttered noodles is so good. So slay. Okay. All right. I'm thinking we'll probably hop into the vids because it's been about an hour of chit-chatting. All right, let me get that off. Oh, oops. Um, I feel like this chair is kind of leaned back. I can't, I can't quite get comfy on it. You know when you like are still like, my old chair was so busted and broke. My, I had two chairs and both of them were so broken and busted and like they were so cozy and comfy. This one is still like so new and the leather is so nice and I, I feel like I haven't quite figured out how I like to sit in it yet. You know. Especially when you're sitting in a chair for a long period of time, like I always am when I stream. Um, okay, so, new Bizarre Bub vid. Sammy, thank you so much for the one gifted. That's very generous of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And then also, um, sorry. Um... Oh, it's Angel Buggy said, if you have bad cramps, try seltzer water and cranberry juice. Works for me every time. I love you. I'm literally sitting here drinking a, like a like a sparkling water right now. And I drink cranberry juice on the reg. I'll have to try that. That sounds delicious. You know what I love doing is actually doing orange juice and seltzer water. I know that sounds kind of like gross. I, maybe it doesn't. It Basically, I like diluting orange juice down because... I like to drink a lot of it. <laughs> like, I like to be able to, like, sit there and, like, sip and have, like, a bevy. So I love cutting it with, like, sparkling water. And then it tastes like a fancy little drink. You could also probably do, like, it's, like, the same effect of, like, a mimosa. Like, it gives it bubbles, but it's non-alcoholic. You could make it alcoholic, but I drink it in the morning, so. Um, so. New Bizarre Bub bit out. Okay. Also, just because I haven't reminded you in a while, the rules that are pinned to the chat are indeed my rules of chat. Hello. Hi. Um, we want to keep you guys as safe as possible. I try to explain that once a stream that like the no time zones, no um, ages, things like that. It is partially for Maka. It is partially for Maka. It is partially for Maka. Man. We're not talking to people like that. Annie doesn't smell right to Maka, and Maka is insane, so Maka has just been grumbling at her all day. Maka's a very vocal dog, though. She always has been. 
Um, but yeah, the reason for no ages, no location, stuff like that is, of course, for spam and to help me read chat because it can get kind of hard um, to read chat if people are sending in like a bunch of time zones and stuff like that. Um, but also, of course, to keep you safe, you never know. I just don't want anything bad to happen to any of you. And yeah, I promise they're there because I think it's what's best. They're not there for no reason. I promise. I swear it. <laughs> so new bizarre bub comp slay i literally got onto youtube today and i thought to myself i really want to watch some scary videos and yet bizarre bub hasn't posted in like three weeks and he was here with bizarre bub scary comp 80 and i'm very excited there's like one video in here that i mentioned in my next scary side of tiktok that i just filmed um like that video but other than that i'm not familiar with any of these i kind of just skimmed for the thumbnail so uh why no fancy fonts because sometimes things can get past filters and it's just it's just easier not to 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 use them um is what i assume that one is because i haven't uh had any like immediate interaction with things like that but some of those rules are like because the mods are the ones who are reading the comments that get filtered so i don't have to read them Does that make any sense um also sammy smith i know i just sent one but i love your videos i love you so much thank you very much that's very generous of you you are so kind and i love you and thank you for being here all right so you guys know the drill. If you are not familiar with our scary, bizarre bub videos, I'm gonna play a minute or two of the vid. We're gonna turn on closed captions because I always forget. And we're going to see what this sounds like. And that's the whole thing. That, that's all we have to do to prep. Following video comes Ooh. from a local news station in Peru that's that caught something me. pretty creepy on camera. The station had featured a news report showing footage of a small town struck by severe weather. Residents of this town were left devastated by this natural disaster, but many of them were left Sounds totally like creeped that. out after watching this broadcast. Is that still too Apparently, loud? Like if I talk? something strange was captured. Let a girl know. Oh, my chat's just been frozen for like two minutes. I was like, dang, nobody's talking. <laughs> I was like, did everyone leave? <laughs> also, um, hello to all almost 1400 of you. When did you guys get here? <laughs> It's a lot of people. We're starting to get a crazy amount of people in our scream streams. It feels wild, and I feel very lucky. Um, audio's a bit loud, not bad, perfect. I'll see in a minute, because it might still be the backlogged ones. Um, Alyssa Street said, currently icing my leg and hip after falling yesterday while on a walk with my 10-month-old daughter strapped to me. I'm hurt, but I made sure she wasn't. I'm so, so sorry to hear that, Alyssa. But of course, you did that for your daughter and went into full amazing protective parent mode. I'm so sorry. I hope you're healing okay. And we're happy to have you here tonight. Feel better soon. And then um, Madeline Bohm, welcome to the channel memberships. Lexi Moran. Moran? <laughs> I never know how to say it. 20 months. 20 months of membership. Thanks so much. Love you. Been really sad this week. I'm sorry, friend. But I'm happy you're here with us. Not loud at all. I'm having a little bit of, I need to swap these screens, I think. And that way I can read chat easier. Let's, let's give this a try. And if it's like, if we get a little bit further and the volume's still kind of funky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The segment in question starts off with footage of a school. The following video comes from a local news station in Peru that caught something pretty creepy on camera. The station had featured a news report showing footage of a small town struck by severe weather. Residents of this town were left devastated by this natural disaster, oh, but no. many of them were left totally creeped out after watching this broadcast. Apparently, something strange was captured. The segment in question on starts off with news? footage of a school playground that appears to be completely devoid of any children. Okay. Ni los juegos infantiles se salvaron de la furia de la naturaleza. Los columpios sube y baja quedaron flotando en el agua en posada. Now the reporter makes it clear that the site has been abandoned as heavy rains have flooded the area. 
The segment then shows more footage of other sites that have also been left behind, but one clip in particular has left many viewers feeling a bit weird. Okay. In fact, they were left feeling beyond spooked upon noticing something strange in the recording. The news reporter is visiting a section of the town known as Santo Domingo when out of nowhere, this happens. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh, wait, sorry, 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 sorry. Let me, let me turn this down and I'll read. Out of nowhere, this, this happens. happens. I'm in the Santo Domingo Human Settlement 6 Committee. Look at the stairs. How could a person or a senior... How could children go down these stairs? As the camera pans over to the base of the stairs, a strange figure can be seen. I forgot it was really low on the audio. I'm so sorry. What? As the camera pans <gasps> over to the base of the stairs, a strange figure can be seen. It's hard the to make fact? out what exactly is being seen here, but it's clear that someone or something is there. This mysterious figure moves in such a way as though struggling to get a grip on the staircase. What? is that and why did she not react to it when she turned around like why did that lady not say a word about it did she truly just not see it that is crazy oh my god um lexi also said uh hey lexi <laughs> morin uh first camping trip without my love but can't wait to binge your videos on vacation this week i love you so very much lexi i'm sorry you're having a tough week i hope that it gets better i hope your spirits can be lifted a teensy bit and just know you're with friends and we love you so much sammy you are so generous stop that <laughs> i love all these i'm glad i got to be here it's been a while since i've uh been having a bad few weeks and watching you just makes my day you're like a big sister to me when i watch you because you always make me smile i love you so much sammy you're so generous and so kind thank you so much for being here wow what a little angel okay how did she not see it? I'm so confused. Oh, there's a bug on my screen. It's hard to make out what exactly is being seen here, but it's clear that someone or something is there. This mysterious figure moves in such a way as though struggling to get a yeah. grip on the staircase. Residents of the town no doubt Ugh. believe that this may have been the ghost of a victim who was claimed by this natural disaster. But it's still a mystery as to who or even what this might it have been. It looked so spooky. Now it's worth noting it, it didn't even look like a person. didn't notice the figure while filming, which has led viewers to believe that something supernatural was captured. But as always, you be the judge. Did something paranormal appear? Or was something else captured? Uh, what else could it possibly be? That wasn't any person like someone I've seen before. Like, hold on. Like, it does sort of look like a person. Like, you can kind of make out a face right here. But, like, the arms look so long. See how long that arm is as it, like, tries to grab on? The fact that she didn't see it. Like, I think that if it was actually a person who really needed help behind her, she absolutely would have seen it. But she didn't see anything. So I have no idea. It looks so creepy. People are saying like water spirit, paranormal. I don't know. It it creeps me out, whatever it is. Excuse me. Um, Mandy Days, thank you so much for the super chat. What in the unholy heck is that? And what is in his hand? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. What is in his hand? Like What? It looks like a really long stick? But I have no idea. I got nothing. I'm going to say it's a ghost and move on. That something supernatural was captured. But as always, you be the judge. Did something paranormal appear? Or was something else captured? There is a store in Brazil that is well known for selling electronics and other consumer products. Were you having a dream? Was that you? Are you just, oh my god, there's something in my eye. Were you just having a dream? Were you just having a real baby doggy dream? Okay, I love 
love you. Sorry, I thought I heard a dog. I think I did. I don't know if that picked up on camera, but this literally looks like a Radio Shack. <laughs> like, this looks like a Radio Shack, man. There is a store in Brazil that is well known for selling electronics and other consumer products for low prices. You're going to tell me but it's not a Radio Shack. Competitive deals. The store is known for being haunted. Oh now, even no! Though there's been a couple of stories from employees who've seen strange things at work. Only one video has caught footage of something pretty baffling. The video starts off with employees of the store looking over at security footage Sorry, from last night. Sec. Maka. Uh -huh. I'm going to give it a second, and then if they don't stop barking, I gotta go see what it is. I gotta go find what they're barking at if they don't stop barking. Okay. There's not been a second bark, so I believe we're fine. Um... Also, Angel Buggy, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, uh, it's the gentleman man looking for girl dinner. It really is. He's just climbing through the sea. Um, Sammy Smith said, I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, so I'm going to head to bed. Good night, Louie. Good night, Sammy. I hope you have another live tomorrow. I love you so much. I love you. I will be live again next Sunday. Today is going to be the last stream for a bit because next Sunday's stream is going to be so special. So um, just going to take a little breather. But I'll see you next Sunday, I hope. Have a good night. And then Brie Horan, thank you so much for that super chat. That's incredibly generous. I hope it didn't like let you, or I hope it didn't like take away a message from you. I hope you just didn't write one because sometimes people will say that they press something before writing. Anyways, if you meant to say anything, please send it in chat. I'll read it. But I love you so much. I love you. Whoever said, who just said go Laura Croft mode? What does that mean? Like polygon titty mode? Sorry, was that, was, was that a weird thing to say? Polygon titty mode. I do love Laura Croft very much. She's much more than polygon titties. I just always think of her in the, what was that? The first Tomb Raider? Her model's incredible then. Just truly amazing. She does nothing but serve. Oh, am I polygon? Is it all set low? Man. Okay. Strange things at work. All is known for being- Oh, uh, Dominia Uncles? I hope I said that right. Um, verse live and super chat, super excited. I usually have you on while I'm cleaning. I wonder if you ever looked into the Blackwell haunting. No, I've never heard of it. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check out that haunting. You guys are laughing at the polygon titty comment now. It's finally catching up with me. <laughs> no, I've never looked into that, but I absolutely will. I'm so happy that you're here. Welcome to your first ever live. Thank you so much for the super chat, and I love you. And I, I hope the cleaning goes well if you're doing that today. <laughs> Being haunted. Now, even though there's been a couple of stories from employees who've seen strange things at work, only one video has caught footage of something pretty baffling. The video starts off with employees of the store looking over at security footage from last night. Okay. But as they continue to watch, something happens that spooks them out of their minds. Take a look. Okay. Wait, sorry, I didn't realize. Um, let me not mute it, but that spooks them out of their minds. Take a look. Is it here? No, it's not. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, you see? In the corner, they're in the corner, in the corner! Stop, that's like a sheep. You see? That's like a sheet ghost. That's literally like a cartoon ghost with a sheet over its head. There's two of them? Jesus of glory, it has a cloak. It's too high. It's floating. It's floating now. I don't see it. Where is it? Wait. Wait. I'm so confused. It, like, goes back into that little area. 
And then they say it's floating. But I I don't know. I can't really tell. <laughs> this is really floating around. It's floating. But it's not coming here. Good heavens. Man, he's too tall. He's going to disappear again. He will disappear. Pay attention. Now he disappears. It must have been like into a wall. A mysterious figure. What the hell was that? It literally looks like a sheet. It actually looks like a sheet on a ghost. Also, Jackie Ramirez, my Sunday evening is finally complete. I'm so happy you're here, Jackie. Thank you so much for that very generous super chat. I appreciate you and your support so much. It literally just looks like somebody in a in a sheet, but like when they said it was floating, I really didn't see anything over here. Like I'm not saying it's not creepy. It's really creepy, but like it was like blocked by this shelf. Like I couldn't quite see what they were seeing, but they know this area much better, so and then he just disappears right into the wall. A mysterious figure appears out of nowhere and makes its way across the store. It looked like there were it two appears to be of cloaked them. in a white garment as it seemingly like right above there. Ground. But According I think that's to just one the, of the wall. Workers, it doesn't appear to have feet, which viewers believe is enough evidence to prove this as being supernatural. Given its oddly stiff composure, viewers are further convinced that this was something otherworldly. It does look like semi-transparent. So was a ghost caught on camera? Or had something else appeared on tape? That could be a ghost. It literally looks like something in a cloak to me, but it does look really tall. It looks semi-transparent. And then if this is a wall and it just disappeared, it obviously has to be a ghost. It's also like very... like. When it walks and stuff, to their credit, not that I necessarily saw it like floating, but here when you see it like kind of walking when it passes all the radios and stuff, I kind of thought I could see a foot there, but it doesn't really look like there are any like knees or anything bending. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when it moves, it kind of looks like it's just like dragging itself along. I don't know. What do you think? So, on to number six. <laughs> Let's see the next one. On March 23rd of 2023, someone... I need to talk to you about this video. I literally just saw a man on a dirt bike in the forest and I lost my mind. Do you understand how scary this is? Okay, okay, okay. We need to talk for a second. I'm going to talk to you about this. Um, also, Cam, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Loie. I've been watching you since middle school and I'm about to go to college. My little baby all grown up. I love you so much. This is the first live I've been able to catch. Thank you so much for your first super chat. And thank you so much for being here. That means the world to me. And and I'm just honored that I've, I've stuck around for that long for you. We need to talk about this. I... If, if you're watching like the edited YouTube version of this uh, whenever it goes up, I mentioned this video in like a haunted TikTok video that I haven't published yet, but I, I will by the time that this ends up coming out. Um, or even if, if you watch the VOD later or something like that. So if you've heard me talk about this later, you know, that makes sense. But this video... This is the scariest TikTok video I've ever seen in my life. When I tell you that I think this TikTok has like kept me up, scared me, like for years I've been doing this. For years I've been diving into like weird static. 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 I love you very much. I love you so much. You are such a wonderful friend and a wonderful human, and I love you. And if any of you ever want a really good streamer to watch, please go to Static Streams on Twitch. And also subscribe to his YouTube channel. Static is the best in the world, and I love him. Static, we miss you. I love you very much. Thank you so much for five gifted, but knock it off. I love you. This video, though. What he sees, what this man on the motorbike sees in this video is like unlike anything I have ever seen in my entire life. It the 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 scare, it's not even a jump scare. There is just something about this that like 
you realize that the minute that he gets freaked out by what's in the forest too, that like he realizes I shouldn't be here. Like I should not be seeing this. And when you watch it, even though it's like through a screen, I don't know, you kind of feel like that too. And you'll see what I mean. Sadik, thank you for six months. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much, Sadik. My baby. I love you with my whole heart. And I will have a good stream, but know that you are loved and you are missed. <laughs> Not Harley said rah. I didn't get a notification. What the heck? Thanks for being here. Not Harley. <laughs> you guys are going to flip out over this video. I've been thinking about it since I filmed that video. I haven't even like posted it yet. On March 23rd of 2023, somewhere in Oregon, a motorcyclist was recording footage of an off-road trail when something completely unexpected had occurred. This motorcyclist, whose name is Eden, has been here before, but for some reason, he seems uneasy this time around. He can't shake the feeling that something is very different about this path. Now, it wasn't until traveling further up different. that something pretty creepy was captured. Take a look. So, animal bones, right? Oh my god, he's so impressive. That was that was really cool. Did you guys know I used to ride dirt bikes back in the day? Wait, is this Loey lore I've ever revealed? Have I ever revealed my my badass uh my badass motorcycle roots? Have I ever revealed my badass motorcycle roots? Wait, have I ever explained this? Both of my parents ride motorcycles. Well, rode motorcycles. So, and I have my dad's. Wait, I have never told you guys I own a motorcycle. I don't ride it. I'm too scared of it. I'm too scared. But I own my dad's old motorcycle. Um, my dad rode this like massive, massive sports bike. And then my mom used to ride a Harley Davidson. But my mom got into an accident and stopped riding motorcycles after that because she was too freaked out. But back then, we used to like ride like dirt bikes all the time. We'd like rent them for the day and just like ride them around. And like my whole family, like my family that lives in Michigan, always um, had like dirt bikes and ATV things like at their cabin um, in like the upper peninsula of Michigan. So my whole family, like <laughs> that was our yearly vacation. <laughs> we all went up to our family cabin and rode like motorcycles in the upper peninsula of Michigan. This is Loey lore I've never shared. You guys are getting the lore. Where's your ball, buddy? Where's your ball? Lowy biker gang. Hades, over here. Whoop. Look at him. Look at this stuff. <laughs> this chair is so freaking noisy. The wheels are kind of, I might have to like oil the wheels or something like that. Cause they like, they get stuck when you, um, when they're not all pointed in the same direction and it's kind of hard to like move it. <laughs> um, also thank you so much to Samantha, Le S Samantha Ledin, Cam, and also Adelaide's Book Nook for joining the channel membership. So welcome, welcome. Don't forget after the stream to check out your fun little members exclusive videos. They're there just for you. Anyways, Loey Lore. This is where most people would turn around. You turn around and you never get to see what's on the other side. That's where all the gold is waiting over there. Spoiler alert, it is not gold. <laughs> there is no people gold waiting. What's on the other side. I haven't seen this full video before. Wait, what? I've never seen this video. Wait. I've seen what? I've seen a different video from this person. I didn't know there was more to this. Oh, that's spooky. Not even for paranormal reasons, the just because of a of bobcat. Summer, something approaching Eden can be heard close by. Although it could be that a bobcat was heading towards Eden, as the pile of animal bones seemed to suggest that this that was could a also, yeah. he couldn't help but think that something else was nearby. Fearing for his safety, he promptly turns around and heads home. Now it wasn't until months later that Eden had returned to the spot, 
but unlike before, something happens that terrifies him to his core. Wait, this Watch. is so much scarier now because this is the clip that I was just hyping up. Like, this is the clip that I know. This is the clip that, like, really freaks me out. And knowing that that had happened previously with, like, him seeing animal bones and, like, hearing, like, a bobcat. Like, of course, it's, like, it's it's in the, the forest. It could be a wild animal. But, like, what he sees in this video, like, what he literally captures on camera is not an animal. Like, it's not an animal I've ever seen in my life. Um, also, MaxBeats48, hi! <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Have you ever watched Possibly Mich Michigan? We did it one time on stream, I think. It's a weird video. It's a very weird video. Nick Storm said, Hi, Loie. I'm in bed sick and this live is keeping me sane, so thank you. I love you so much, Nick. Thanks for being here. I hope you feel better soon, friend. Kylantis also said, wait, has that dirt bike vid always been longer? Okay, so you just heard me go through this exact same emotion. <laughs> no, no, I have not seen this this full one. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to move that over. So. Okay. Oh, God, bones are still here. I don't like this at all. Oh god, there's even more bones than last time. It's been a few months since I filmed the last video. Because honestly, I've just been too scared to come up here. Definitely a lot more overgrown than last time. I'm hoping oh that since gosh. it's been such a long time that I don't think anything Sorry, will one happen. Second. Hey, Daisy, stay in your toy. Get, get, get. Okay, get. Give me your toy. Hi. Okay. We're just gonna... I'm going to let the smile dog stare into your soul just while we watch this, because otherwise he's just going to sit here and I've just been too scared sit. to come up here. Definitely a lot more overgrown than last time. I'm hoping that since it's been such a long time that I don't think anything will happen this time. I think that tree is actually gone. This road's been cleared. Looks like we've already passed it a while ago. Yeah. That tree is gone. Oh my god. I cannot believe he went back. Whoa. It's just dark as hell in here. I'm probably going to turn around soon. Oh, there's two ways. Holy crap, dude. This trail going on forever. Silent. It just got really quiet really it's fast. It's silent. Okay, then watch the right part of the screen. Right there. Oh! My God, full body chills. Every time I've seen that that part of the video, it has scared me more than the last. The way that the forest went silent. No, 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 no. Yeah, that was my cue to go. That was my cue to leave. He sounds terrified. Like something straight out of a horror movie, the woods all of a sudden go quiet. But during this unusual silence, Eden sees what looks to be a tall, pale-looking figure emerging from the bushes. Upon looking closely, it appears to be crouching and walking oh God, slowly as though stalking its prey. Terrified beyond belief, Eden starts the bike while trying to catch his breath. But to make things even more tense, the bike doesn't start. Eventually it does, at which point Eden- That was an incredible speed at which to start a kickstart. Could we just say that? That was really impressive. He said, I am out of here. Like, I know the way his bike stalls is crazy too. Like the kickstart did not did was not kickstarting. It was not kickstarting. I've never seen someone so desperate to get out of there. Crazy. That every time I see that it scares me more. Every single time. Wait for the sake of his life. He has no idea as to what this might have been, but some viewers believe that this might have been a skinwalker or some sort of supernatural entity. But of course, what are your thoughts? To this day, this video serves to remind him that some places aren't worth further exploring. No, the fact that he went back at all, I mean, actually, no, you know what? I was gonna say the fact that he went back at all is crazy. But in the last video, if you watch that back months later, I feel like you could just be like, yeah, that was a bobcat. I heard a bobcat, then like something like crackled in the woods next to me when I stopped to look at this tree. But he wanted to know what was there. He goes back and that's what he sees. Like it just looks like a full blown person. 
And also, again, I'm just gonna, I, I just want you to listen again to the way that the forest stops when he gets there. Oh, there's two ways. Holy crap, dude, this trail don't run forever. The bugs stop. It just got really quiet really fast. Like, the bugs go quiet. Oh my god! It's just, it's so, he's like, he's like desperate to get this bike. Like, I don't think this is fake. I think this is an entirely real encounter with something. Because he seems terrified when he speeds off. No, 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 no. Yeah, that was my cue to go. That was my cue to leave. Insane. I literally, like, catch me never exploring anything ever. For, for that video alone. Uh, Kylantis said, yeah, the way his bike stalls, I know. Also, thank you so much for the super chat. Caitlin Rivera said, I applaud this man's bravery. I, I applaud it as well, but I think he saw something. I truly, the minute that the forest went quiet like that, like I had the thought, oh, you shouldn't be here. And I'm sure he had the same, same exact thought himself in real time. Um, so... And then Mandy Day, thanks so much for the super chat. This is why the buddy system, uh, yeah, such a nope. Oh my God, agreed. Always the buddy system, never do this kind of stuff alone. Also, you guys, just a little 15 minute warning to the next self-care sash. A little bit under 15 minutes now. It's the bike while trying to catch his breath, but to make things even more tense, the bike doesn't start. Eventually it does, at which point Eden speeds away for the sake Crazy. of his life. That video he is insane. He has no idea as to what this video oh, serves to remind I him do... that some places aren't worth further exploring. Um, so again, I didn't like, I didn't pre-watch these videos, but I, when I was scanning through, um, I did watch a second of this one and it seems pretty um sad so if you or anyone you love has experienced like a debilitating end of life um chronic illness or um been through you know just something horrible where they were on um end of life care this might trigger you um i'm not sure of exact warnings it's not as bad um as like other videos I feel like maybe have been with like we we watched some stuff in here that gets way too graphic like there's way too much doom and gloom and death and screaming and like that kind of stuff that this isn't like that it's just it's it's a sad story seemingly um and uh includes somebody seeing stuff that's like not there so Digi also said, not -uh, my ancestors would whip me for silly for straying in the woods like that. Nope, not even the Mohawk and me would dare uh, testing that. I'm telling you, I never could have gone back. Like, <laughs> scare me once. <laughs> you will never see me again. So, all right. And, and please take care of yourself. If you need to take a second away, like if you think this could upset you, if it does upset you, <coughs> Excuse me, we're going to do a BRB in like 10 minutes anyway, so take a minute. He uh, Hikate, that's what it seems is like hospice care, um, like this person is in end of life care. Um, but also Sam R, thanks so much for joining the channel memberships. Okay. Also, Ghostling Bud, yes, these streams are available to watch after the live. In the following video, a woman is lying in bed when she points her finger to the ceiling. Although the person who's with her has no idea as to what she's seeing, it's what happens next that leaves them pretty spooked. Now the person who's recording her is her daughter, and the reason she took this video is because as of recent... Buddy, give me the ball. Give me. Give. Give. Okay, I love you so much, it's my ball now. Sorry. Although the person who's with her has no idea as to what she's seeing, it's what happens next that leaves them pretty spooked. Now the person who's recording her is her daughter, and the reason she took this video is because as of recent, her mother has been acting strange. Erica Ponce, the daughter recording this, states that her mother has always been a sensible and healthy woman. To her, she's more than just a parent, but a friend as well. 
and just like friends, they would often go out and spend time with each other. Aww. From having mother-daughter dates at their favorite baseball stadium, to shopping at the fanciest mall in town on a very low budget, Erica can't imagine a world without her mother. Aww. But unfortunately, one day, something pretty devastating had occurred. Erica's mom was diagnosed with a terminal illness. Mm -hmm. According to the doctor, her days mm -hmm. were numbered. Her life is expected to end soon. Over time, the mother-daughter dates had become less frequent before eventually stopping completely. Erica's mom was too sick to go out. Understandably, seeing her mom like this was too much for Erica. Hey, good morning. Um, They're both been... so beautiful. A really, really bad week. Oh, honey. Now as time went on, Erica noticed that her mom has been acting slightly off. She's been saying and seeing things that don't make sense. One day, she grabs her phone to record this strange common occurrence, but unlike previous incidents, this one has left her speechless. Take a look. See what you see. Angels. And where are they at? Oh my gosh. I don't see anything, Mom. I don't see anything. You see him? Are they making you happy? Yeah. I was gonna say, I don't think this, like, I don't think this scary music is really necessary. Like, the mom is smiling. Like, you know, I, I don't think that this is necessarily, like, a... It's a sad moment, and I'm sure it's really scary for, um... For Sarah, which is, I believe, the name of the daughter. Um, but I don't think this, like... I don't think this scary music is necessarily, like... You know, I don't. I don't think it really adds anything. How many? Four. 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 She says four, four, four. Four. And then she holds up her hand. That's mm. so incredible. She doesn't look scared to me. I'm sure that this was scary for the daughter. But the mother seems really happy by whatever this is. Erica's mom seems to be seeing something on the ceiling. Erica, she I called her Sarah. I don't know why I called her Sarah. Sarah is the daughter's, uh, Erica is the daughter's name. Sorry, I don't know where I got Sarah from. Erica's mom seems to be seeing something on the ceiling. She believes that her mother had actually seen something, angels in this case, as she was expected to pass away soon. Viewers can't help but think the same, as they too have witnessed loved ones say the same thing before dying. According to them, some people will see a deceased relative or friend whose purpose is to make them feel comfortable before crossing over to the other side. Now whether or not that's true is up to you to decide, but knowing this brings Erica comfort, as her mother had recently passed away. Watching this video reassures her that somewhere beyond this realm, her mother is in good hands. But the as always, way... what do you think? Like all videos, you be the judge on whether or not- The way at the end too, her mom said 444. I'm looking up what 444 means. Like her mom says 444. And like, if you're familiar with like the concept of angel numbers, um, it's like if you see like a repeating set of numbers or like a really significant set of numbers, it's like the universe sort of uh, speaking to you. It, it's like somebody giving you a message, angels, the universe, whatever. And apparently 444, um, which I think could be like maybe a message, like obviously I'm really spiritual. Um, hold on, wait. 444 means that your connection with the angels in the angelic realm is powerful and you can trust the guidance that they're giving you. It also signifies healing, transformation, change, revolution, evolution, and leveling up. 
So I really, I don't think anything is a coincidence. Like my, I'm not really like religious anymore, but I'm super, super spiritual. And I always think that absolutely everything comes to you in the exact moment you're supposed to have it. And I truly, truly feel like that little message, the like the 444, like, you know, the um, the little message to her daughter, like could have been something for the future. You know what I mean? That's what I like to think. I don't think that was scary. I think it was really sweet. Personally, <laughs> I'm glad we got to see it, but I don't think this was a scary video. So I love you all and I hope you're all good. Sam R, welcome to the channel memberships. I'm happy to have you here. So. Not something was present during this recording. It's late at night when a man oh, who's no. by himself enters an abandoned house. He walks carefully around the place as though acting with caution. This house, according to him, has a very strange history. Now the district where the house is located has prohibited anyone from entering the place, and for good reason. There's something about this house that isn't right. Oh Neighbors boy. say that an old man oh boy, here we go. before eventually passing away from old age. What's strange about this, though, is that nobody else was living with him. This giant building with lots of rooms and cryptic artifacts belonged to one single man who lived all alone. But strangest of all are the events that took place after his passing. Nearby residents have seen shadowy figures standing near the windows of the second floor and the sound of children laughing during the nighttime. Bye. No I hate that photo. <laughs> That's so scary. As he expects someone or something to appear. He walks around when only moments later this happens. You're being a real creep and we're watching a scary video. Can you not stare into the camera's soul? Thank you. He's so mad. I won't give him this tennis ball. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, fine. Careful. It's like this house was never fully finished. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of like the impression that I get. Like, I feel like so much of it is still like just exposed wall and like, is that a tatami room? Is this like, Is that the oh my god oh my god i really thought that door was moving oh my god i thought that door was moving look at all of the dust around that figure where it was like it has not been moved in so long I'm so freaked out right now. That really got me. Out of nowhere, a small golden statue seemingly falls over. The man pauses for a moment as he tries to understand how this happened. He looks around the space for anything that could possibly explain this, but finds nothing. Somehow, the statue fell on its own. Although pretty creepy, it's what happens next that leaves them shaken up. Next? He continues to explore the house by heading upstairs. There's he sets more? up a second you camera to record leave? the entire floor from a different point of view when this is captured. Why would you not leave after that? Like, I... God. This place gives me a terrible vibe. I can truly understand why it's just sat abandoned. I mean, it would probably look much better if they cleaned it out and took all this guy's stuff out of it and it was lived in. It probably wouldn't be this creepy. But, like, right now, who... Who's going to buy this place? It's not even cleaned out. Comes with ghosts. I thought I just saw... 
In just a couple of frames, a small silhouette can be seen standing against the it's wall. It's like a half it silhouette, wasn't until later too. That the man had noticed this. But had he seen this during his tour of the stairs, viewers no okay, doubt I thought I was would have seeing something. Out of there. Whatever this might have been, definitely spooked him after watching the footage. But it's what happens next that forces him to leave at once. The man More? explores the second floor <laughs> when he finds More? a couple of rooms that are mysteriously locked. Something about this does not Don't seem go in. right. <laughs> Don't go this in. This is what he caught. What are you doing? It's going to open on its own, isn't it? Please don't. Please don't open on your own. Please. Was something on the other side of that door? Did you hear that? Or was the door? Okay, the door was just loose. I thought something was on the other side of that door. It sounded like something was back there. Or, I knew it. I knew it was going to open. I knew it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so scary. This is reminding me of one of my favorite YouTube horror videos, which is called My My House Walkthrough, which was done in a Japanese house as well. So I'm just like, they all connect? Oh my God. I'm so on edge. Why is there a single chair in the middle? <laughs> My God. What? He just got locked in there and he's just pacing back and forth. This is the worst. This is maybe the worst one we've ever watched. <laughs> oh, he's freaking. Oh, thank God it's open now. Oh my God. The fact that he had that camera set up and you could see that nobody was there, too. You know no one was there at all. As if seeing the door open on its own wasn't creepy enough, this happens. The door immediately closes as soon as the man walks in, as though someone had slammed it shut. The man quickly rushes over to the door, but realizes that it's locked. But then somehow, the door suddenly becomes unlocked, at which point he bolts out of there. He runs out as quickly as possible, but fails to record the rest as the camera had stopped recording. However, it's right before then that something downright chilling was captured. As the camera pans over to the room that he just came out of, a dark <gasps> figure can be seen inside. It seemingly stands there as though observing the man run away, knowing oh that God. whatever this was was most likely with him inside That's the room so has left him extremely scary. unsettled. Not is literally the scariest video we've ever watched on stream. I have chills all over my entire body. You could literally see that person's face. He stands there as though observing the man. You, it literally looks like they're like looking at him. Like their face is like turned to him and they're pressed against the wall. This is the, this is the worst one. This is the worst one ever. And run away. Knowing that whatever this was, was most likely with him inside the room has left him extremely unsettled. Not much else is known about what happened later, but it seems pretty clear that this man won't be coming back anytime soon. So then, just what exactly had occurred that night? Until more footage is posted, this mysterious God. incident remains unsolved. That one was terrifying. For more info on this story, you can check out the YouTube channel Fourth Wall, where the full video can be found. Man, maybe we'll have to check out that channel sometime for other scary videos, because what the heck? Also, I, uh, I, I, I put my little timer on like a 
pause so you guys wouldn't have to hear the the alarm when it went off but i don't think it's gonna play now um oh self-care time hey how are you we're trying to be better about taking care of ourselves when we stream okay and that means have you drank anything that even remotely resembles water in the last hour Time to drink some water. I'm going to drink actual just plain water and not my pink lemonade. <laughs> I guess I need to. Have you eaten something? Have you taken your meds? Take care of yourself, okay? Oh, I do think the doggies probably need to go potty um, now. So, and what time is it? Oh, they probably have another hour before dinner. Um, so we're going to take a little break. I'm going to put you guys on a bit of a music break. I'm going to read the super chats before I go. And then when we come back, we'll finish up this video. And then we get to watch the Life of Luxury vid too. Um, Alyssa Renee said, hi, beautiful Loey, probably popping in here at the end, but I love your face and voice nonetheless. Hope you're having a better day today. I sure am, Alyssa. Thanks so much for being here. I love you. And then that one chick, welcome to the channel memberships. I'm honored to have you here. All right. That video scared the crap out of me. Remy, I see you only drinking Pepsi. I know you. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. All right. So I'll probably take more like a five minute break this time. Last one was really big or really short rather. Um, but definitely Hades is getting a little restless. Aren't you, bud? Aren't you? You sure are handsome, though. Um. Uh, how do I get back to my playlist? Okay, it's here. Jasmine Rose said I missed her super chat. Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry about that. I just saw it. OMG, Loey, our time zones are so different. And I'm kindly catching a live. Love you in the purple hair. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Just a friendly reminder that um, with uh, chat, we try not to mention like time zones and uh, locations and stuff and, and also like ages and stuff. Not that you did, but um, just for like safety measures. And I always say that when when somebody does say it but thank you very much jasmine and i'm sorry that took me a second i'm sorry i literally like went right over that i don't know how i missed it thank you very much anyways taking the quickest break be back in a sec brb oh hades <laughs> be right back
We're back from the break. Hades is very unfortunately now in doggy jail. 
He got a little too excited. But hello. Hello, hello. We're going to take a sec. Let everyone come back. And then I guess I'll eat this last bite of my Uncrustable, although it's fully dethawed. I usually eat them like frozen, frozen. Warning Parade said, I'm shiny hunting for Umbreon. Today, I was um, surprise trading in um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, what was I just talking about? Oh, I was surprise trading in Scarlet today. Because I've been playing the whole game with one of my friends and um, I wanted to get us both like a Charizard. So we had like missed long, mi like we've been taking a hot minute to finish this game. So um, I was getting us Charmanders <laughs> and I got so many hacked Pokemon last night. And today I got a shiny Charizard, a hacked ch shiny Charizard with one of those like fake, well, with one of those website names where you can go buy shiny Pokemon with like real money. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I also got like, I got so much today, but I got a shiny hacked Charizard. I got a shiny hacked, what is chess pins? Final evolution. Oh, sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to play games with this new mic arm, but uh, I guess we'll figure it out. What is its final Evo? I think it's also a shiny, but I really don't know Chespin very well. Um, I always pick fire starters and I've never used Chespin for anything. I don't know, but... <clears throat> I got Chespin's final evolution. Chestnut! That's right. That's right. It's Chestnut. Um, I got Chestnut. I got... Uh, and... Uh, I got, like, a Sobble Evo. I got, um... I have all the starters from the... Um... From the... Games. Oh, Rain, I scared you. I'm so sorry. When I say you scared the shit out of me just now, it was so quiet. I jumped out of, out of my skin. I'm so sorry. I got a Froakie today, too. I got a Froakie. I was really excited about the Froakie. Also, Digi um, said, sorry, Digi, I just lost your thing. If you suffer from migraines, Gatorade, or anything with electrolytes helps with water. Sodium caffeine can help um, self-care. Whoop, whoop. Thank you so much, Digi. I love you. Setting the timer once again. Self-care again in an hour. <coughs> but yeah, it's been a it's been a fun day of shiny hunting. Um, not shiny hunting, but you know. <laughs> in uh inadvertent shiny hunting. Just getting shinies, I guess. Alright, I guess we are gonna get back to the videos, because I think it's been enough time. Um We only have like three more videos in this compilation which is kind of crazy. And then we have to wait weeks for another Bizarre Bug video. I can't take it. Alyssa Renee, thanks so much for this uh, super chat. Speaking of playing games, when will you be playing the Layers of Fear again? I had to stop because I got so spooked at the part I'm at. I'm not sure. Probably in a couple of weeks because um, I can't play it this week. We're doing our charity stream on next Sunday. If you missed the announcement, we're doing a Make-A-Wish charity stream next Sunday on the 23rd. Be there, be square, baby. Um, and I'm doing that next week. I think I'll probably do a reaction stream the following Sunday and then maybe Layers of Fear after that, but we'll have to see. And also I'm going to be way busier than I have been, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep up with the Friday extra streams. So, all right. Let's see what it is <laughs> with video number three. On October 25th of 2022, a paramedic posted a video of something freaky that occurred during his lunch break. The okay. video is pretty short, so not much happens, but it's a certain detail caught in this footage that makes it quite disturbing. The video begins with the paramedic filming inside a hospital where a couple of surgeons are getting ready to transfer a very sick patient to a different wing. The paramedic walks out of the hospital to record them coming through. 
It isn't until later that the doctors arrive with the sick patient, who according to them, passed away only hours later. The paramedic oh, so then stops recording. Now, it was only after finishing work that the paramedic had watched this video and okay. noticed something strange about it. Looking back at the footage, they noticed that during the time they were waiting outside for the doctors to arrive, something unusual was caught in the background. Take a look. I didn't spot anything. I didn't see anything still. Maybe look at that dark shadow in the very back. That does look like, oh, that is something. Oh my God. Oh, that's definitely something. It like moved. Oh, if that you look is closely scary. At the hallway inside the hospital, a dark shadow-like figure can be seen standing at the end of the and hall. And it like moves it's over. It's there for just a few seconds before suddenly disappearing from sight. The paramedic That's has no so idea scary. as to who or even what this might have been, but judging by its appearance, viewers believe that an entity of some sort was seen. They further add that this entity might have been death itself, considering that the patient in this video passed away that same day. Yet it's still not oh sure as to God. what was captured. But one thing that's certain is that whoever or whatever this was didn't seem to belong in this hospital. It remains unknown as to who or what was caught on camera. That's... If you caught something creepy on camera... That's terrifying. Before he even said that... <clears throat> Before Bizarre Bub even said that it could be like death itself, that that's what people think. Like people in chat were already saying it looks like the Grim Reaper. It looks like a Reaper. Like... That's crazy. Is that really what was caught on camera? That whoever or whatever this was didn't seem to belong in this hospital. It remains unknown as to who or what was caught on camera. It's definitely in like some kind of long cloak. You can see that it's like rounded. It's very clearly a person and it looks like a person in a cloak. That's crazy. Is that like actual footage of the Grim Reaper? Oh, that's the spookiest thing. This is a good one. There have been some spooky videos in this bizarre bub comp. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. As with most videos involving baby monitors oh, that capture no. something unexplainable on camera, this next one shows In something that highly cursed unusual. Thomas the Tank Joanna Engine. Joanna Pasco posted the following video bed. after noticing something peculiar inside her daughter's bedroom. Her daughter, named Evelyn, is Joanna's first child who was fortunately born without birth defects. Before Evelyn, she was pregnant twice, but tragically, she had lost both pregnancies from having two miscarriages. Ever since experiencing this traumatic event, Joanna has been very caring towards Evelyn. She would constantly look over at the baby monitor to see what she was up to. I'm so happy but for one her day, that she, she got had looked her baby. Over and saw the strangest thing. While checking on Evelyn, she sees this. Okay. 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 That's not possible. What is that? It is like a perfect is little orb. It yeah. Look, look. It's lingering. Like a perfect little ball of light. The light outside, like... It literally st keeps its there's, shape. There's no pinhole. I'm like, the curtains, I pulled the curtains closed. Huh. And it's not leaving. It's getting near her. Yeah, it's like sticking around her baby. Oh my God. Did she just, did she just touch it? Where did it go? She a fully small ball saw of light it. Can be seen floating around. Fully crib. saw it. It seems to follow wherever she goes and doesn't seem to go anywhere else beyond the crib. Even stranger is that Evelyn appears to see the ball of light and even chase it. It's as though whatever this is is interacting with Joanna's daughter. Among like many she things, definitely saw that. This may have been one of the spirits of Joanna's unborn children playing with Evelyn. That's Others so think sweet. this might have been a guardian angel or an entity of some kind. Regardless of what this might have been. Joanna feels comforted by this mysterious presence. To her, it's as though something else is looking over Evelyn. Aww. Given how much she cares for her daughter, she doesn't mind having something else look after her child. That's sweet. 
I'm glad she got comfort from it and wasn't, you know, scared. This next video was recorded by two friends who caught something very strange while taking a walk through a secluded forest. Both friends were shooting a video for a small project, but little did they know that the spot they were shooting at had a chilling history. The story goes that a few years ago, a boyfriend and girlfriend were camping somewhere deep inside this forest where Sounds nobody like could see them. an urban legend them. already. The reason for choosing this spot was so that no one would catch them doing drugs. But this was a bad idea. Okay. Within just a few hours of taking a hard substance, the boyfriend suddenly falls to the ground and begins to convulse. He had taken too much and eventually passed away. <sighs> Immediately, the girlfriend began to scream for help, but nobody came. Now sadly, she too had passed away, but her cause of death remains unknown. It wasn't until much later that the police arrived and found their bodies. Ever since then, the forest has been said to be haunted by the spirit of the couple. Although some believe this, the following footage has left many wondering if something haunts this place. The two friends are walking alone inside this forest. Another scary forest video. Captured. Okay. What if I scream to scare the demons? They would mimic your scream. Oh. That never scared me anyway. Maybe it's just a bunch of kids trying to summon demons. That in the forest we're in? Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Upon listening closely, the sound of faint screams can be heard coming from the forest. The two girls initially shrug it off oh. as they think it might be some kids playing around in the woods. But as they continue to listen, they begin to realize that the screams are getting louder and more frequent. Oh my god. The more you listen, the less scary it sounds. The more I listen, the more scary it sounds. That's so loud. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like that could be an animal, but like the somebody help screams, that was fully a, like that was somebody. That was fully somebody. That sounds the like a person. Seem to be coming from someone who needs help. However, the source I of the screams if they ever can't be found. Anyone. Given the history of this place, which is said to be haunted, the two girls quickly fled in a panic. Oh my god! It's unknown as to who was screaming, but many viewers think that calling the police would have been the right thing to do. Yeah. It could be that someone was crying for help. <laughs> While some believe that this might have been the spirit of the girlfriend who passed away in this forest. Others can't help but think that this was an actual person in need of help. Oh, no. If that's the case, then this video becomes a whole lot scary. Now, the girls eventually did call the police, but the rest of the story is unknown. So then, just what exactly was going on inside this forest? As with most videos whose original source is unknown, this one remains a mystery. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon so you My beloved, beautiful, bizarre bub. I mean this with so much love and light, but what was that last video? This creeps me out. Like, if you hear somebody screaming, somebody help, in the forest, call the police. Call for help. Take care of yourself, stay safe. It, it is a crazy world out there, but call somebody. I know they're kids, but damn. Well, that was new Bizarre Bub. <laughs> See you guys in three weeks for the next one. <laughs> All right. That was fun, though. New Bizarre Bub. You know I love uh, Bizarre Bub. All right. We're going to be watching Life of Luxury, and we're going to be watching the... Um, the part two of Tommy, um, the guy who can't stop growing at night. So where do I start? Um, <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I really did enjoy 
the second half of that. I really, really did. Um, but now it's time to get to Life of Luxury. If you're unfamiliar with Life of Luxury, previously we were watching scary videos that are actually really scary. Um, also, before I keep going, Alyssa Renee, thank you so much for the super chat. You should call them Freaky Friday streams. That would be so fun, especially if I end up incorporating Friday like permanently. Hello, tiny baby. You're so pretty. Look at your tiny little baby head. You look so beautiful with your new haircut. You're such a pretty mommy. I know. Do you want to come up? Your sister is going to get so mad. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry. Anne got groomed today and her ear looks a little inflamed to me. So I need to clean them out later. Or not clean them, but put her little medicine in them. Um... Alyssa, thank you again. And then Colby, welcome to the channel memberships. Happy to have you here. Oh my goodness, you're so little. Do you want to come up? Come over here. Come on, I need to be able to get your butt. Are you ready? One, two, whoa. Look at that puppy. Look at that puppy. Oh my God, every time that I let the dogs out, I end up knocking that light over. And then I never, I never remember to fix it. I never remember to fix my lights and get them back out of the shot. After I take the dogs outside. Oh, here comes Maka to ruin the fun. Yeah, it's crazy how not everything's about you. Say hi. Say hello. I'm a perfect baby. I'm a perfect baby. Yes, you are. You are a perfect baby. Hey, do you have anything to say? You look very beautiful. Do you know that? Do you know how beautiful you look, even if your ear is a little red? Isn't she so freaking cute? She's like seven years old, and she still just looks like a little baby to me. Look at this baby. She's just a girl. You're just a girl. Yeah, you're just a tiny babe. You look very beautiful, honey. Orange is your color. <laughs> um so previously <laughs> previously on <laughs> Lowy <Lily> Lane <laughs> so we last stream watched Life of Luxury which truly are the most special videos you can't really call them ghost hunting videos i don't think that they deserve that but they are really like they're special they're special videos and um i left my chat off on a cliffhanger on one about a kid who can't stop growing at night and apparently there's a part two and it was getting really late and i told them we'd watch it next stream and i i promised my chat life of luxury and life of luxury they will have so if you were here for the actually scary videos um we're gonna be watching some we're going to be getting silly. We're going to be getting goofy. And also I ship um, Parker and Chester so much. I ship them so much. You smell so good. You smell so nice. You look so beautiful. What are you so upset about? What are you so upset for, huh? What are you sad about? What you sad about, girl? All right, I'm going to put her down, um, but I'm going to mute you guys because Maka will throw a fit the minute I do it. Oh. All right. We're going to watch my favorite YouTube couple, Life of Luxury. It is, it eats, it needs to eat during the night. Oh my God, please tell me. Um, right? Because it was, we watched last time the one with 39 million views, which is her son can't stop growing at night. And then this one is it needs to eat at night, which I think is part two. I think. I don't know. All right. <laughs> have i read all my super chats i feel like no i haven't 
Fawn. <laughs> I'm loving your lashes tonight. What brand do you use? They're gorgeous. Also, a vet tech. Does she have an ear infection? She's so cute. So Annie had a chronic infection in her right ear. Thank you about the lashes. They are linked on my Amazon storefront, which you can find through my website. Um, usually I have it linked in the description box, but it's loelane.me. You'll see my Amazon storefront. It's just the easiest place to buy them um, or find them because they're just like, they're just like, like, Chinese wholesale half lashes and I only wear little half lashes these days you can kind of see like I obviously I'm always like looking down so maybe they look a little bit longer but they're pretty natural I think anyway I think they're pretty 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 natch okay and then they have captions on their videos so once again the way that I'm going to um Similarly as before, why did I just have the cra- like, I just stopped thinking. Loeylane.exe just simply stopped working for a moment. So I'm going to play this for a sec. We'll check on audio and just like before, we'll figure out the right levels with um, this sound. Sometimes like per video, it can get a little bit different. Side note, before I start, hold on. Um, have I told you guys, we do on our little self-care breaks, drink our little water, eat our little girl dinner. But have we ever thought about, and we always stream, you know, what is quite late for me, no time zones, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> you can ban me mods, um, but not that that is, but you know, um, I am really into sunscreen. I wear sunscreen a lot. A lot of you guys ask me why my skin is nice. I don't think it looks that great right now, but um, my skin is nice because I wear sunscreen and I've worn it for like 15 years, like every single day. And I'm using the Yours um, Sunny Side Up Sunscreen Mist. And I just like literally beauty guru low. Look at how like fine. It's so, it smells really good too. I don't want to inhale it. But like, it's a really fine mist. I guess a little chunk came out, but probably not on the second one. I don't use this. You can use it over makeup. I haven't used it over makeup. But sunscreen. And I got this on Amazon too. I haven't put it in my storefront or anything because I need to, I need to try it <laughs> first before I, you know, but I, so far I like it. That one chick, thank you so much for five gifted memberships. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much for all your support. It's always so nice to see you in here. You don't have to do all that. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. And I love you. Congrats. Why are we banning Loey? Because I broke my own rules. Because all I do is break rules. It's a little loud to me. Why do you want to go back to these people? Tommy is violent. <laughs> My God. <laughs> okay, I have to make sure. The way you've been behaving is unacceptable. Oh my God, Father Parker, not Father Parker. Okay, 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 okay. I think we're good on audio right around there, right? Can I say the name of the brand again, please? It's yours. The brand is yours for the sunscreen. Um, okay. Are we good? Do you think the audio is okay? <laughs> Are we all right? Tommy joined a metal band. Remember, Tommy is apparently canonically six, despite the fact that he is one bajillion feet tall. Maple, thanks for six months, and they slept in one bed. There is there is uh, pester proof everywhere. Audio is good. Maple says, "I believe I believe Maple and uh, Hikate." Hikate, I just said your name correctly for the first time in like months. I just realized <laughs> the other day when you literally told me it on call, and I kept calling you Hikate or <laughs> Hikati. Sometimes I gaslight myself and I don't know which one it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can use sunscreen under my makeup or under makeup. That is, um, this is good because you can reapply it. You should still wear sunscreen under your makeup. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Hikate. Um, wear your sunscreen, but this is great over makeup and throughout the day. But I layer like... I, I wear a lot of different kinds of sunscreen because I'm constantly putting on more because I live in Los Angeles. You get it. Why do you want to go back to these people? Tommy is violent. 
He's such a supportive boyfriend. The way you've been behaving is unacceptable. The head is so <laughs> It's so good. What the hell is he doing? He's sucking your back. How do you not feel bad for Gans? Because this is disturbing. Tommy's literally sucking the life out of his mom. Tommy. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just so happy to be back. You know what I mean? I'm just happy to be here. Thank you so much for 6.6 .6 million subs. So deserved. 7 million. And let's hit 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released. So for this episode, we got in contact with a woman named Doris, who is the sister of Candace, the mother of Tommy from our previous episode. Now, after it is a part episode, two. We weren't sure what happened to Candace. <laughs> much they are everything to this channel means everything to me or says that candace and tommy both are still alive and living together in a new even house. though tommy, tommy supposedly was dead the whole time keeps leaving his room at night terrorizing the neighborhood one of the neighbors recorded and posted this video of tommy online oh my god tommy's starting to cause a serious Whoa. fuss Even though he's been hurting her, which has caused the jump scare not getting me is so funny. If somebody doesn't get Tommy under control, Doris fears that Candace doesn't have much time left. So tonight, oh, we're gonna go no. to the house and we won't leave until we're sure Tommy can't hurt anyone anymore. Jack, thanks so much for the super chat. I love you. Thank you. We're back, baby. We're back with the life but of luxury. Why do you want to go back to these people? Tommy is violent. We wouldn't even have to go back if we saved Candace the first time. This is our second chance. But every time we try to help, we make things worse. It's not going to be like that this time. And Doris said Candace is in terrible health. Have you I guys? I do not care about this. Have you guys ever watched the Scary Movie franchise? Like the Scary Movies. Um, his voice, Parker's voice, and I don't know if he's trying to embody Charlie Sheen's character <laughs> from the scary movies, but that's who he sounds like right now. He sounds like Charlie Sheen's character from the scary movie franchise. <laughs> I love it so much. Lady's life. Because I care about ours first. Just turn the car around. He's trying to say that he loves you, Tommy's Parker. Been harassing his mom and the entire neighborhood. It's time we put an end to this. I'm so excited. Your destination is on the right. All right, I think this is the place. They're there. You really want to go in there? <sighs> yeah. Chester's so real. Let's go. Okay. The things he will do for love. The things he will do for his man. Okay. Knock. Okay. Oh, he sounds so scared. She's going to answer the door in the same way. It's going to be this much of her face. Look, look, look. <laughs> Hi. And they always have the same expression, which is like, what are you doing here? <laughs> like, they clearly invited him here, and they're so bewildered that he showed up. They're always, like, 
how did this man think that this was a good idea coming to my house at 11:30 at night and uh intentionally showing up to fight demons and or other unknown entity what why why is he why um also thank you so much for the super chat your first ever super chat uh rick vogue thank you so much i appreciate you yeah uh, thanks for letting us come over. Can we come in and talk to your sister? Okay. Someone She's a bit under the weather right now. She's <laughs> Someone... Someone on my last life of luxury stream, the one from Friday, commented something akin to like they said something like, you're trying way too hard to be amused by this. And like, I just cannot emphasize enough that I'm not, I'm watching this one for you because you guys wanted to see the part two. This is for me. I watch these in my spare time and I cackle like this. I think it's so funny. I think this is the most incredible content of all time and I love it so much. So also Fawn, good night. Have a great rest of the stream, BB. Thank you so much, Fawn. Good night, Angel. Love you so much. Sleep well. Okay. She's a bit under the weather right now. She's really not doing well. Like, That's you invited okay. them we'll there, and right. now you're trying to convince them All to right. leave. Come on. You know? But I warned you. Okay, come on. Let's talk to Candace. What's she mean? She's in there. Huh? Okay, thanks. Dude. Candace? Candace, are you okay? Oh what dear. I'm fine. <laughs> what happened to her hair? Candace. Candace. Did your son do this to you? Oh my god. <laughs> He's Tommy. Tommy. Tommy's not even taller. Tommy. He's chomping. Tommy. Listen, I don't know what's been going on. Poor Candace. She's going through it. But we're here now. We're going to help you. Okay, wait, wait. This part two was much later. And if you listen to my first Life of Luxury react in that first stream from Friday, I I said that Parker has like no empathy. Like people just start crying in front of him and he kind of is just like, okay, I gotta go now. Like I'm gonna go see if there are ghosts in this house. And like, he is so nice to Candace, like has comforted her while she's crying on many occasions. I think there might be something there. Like I do ship Parker and Chester, but like, What's going on here? What's going on? Is, does, does Parker have the hots for Tommy's mom? It's Tommy time out time. Or if your son's been hurting you. But we're here now. We're going to help you with Tommy. It's okay. Tommy's a good boy. Candace, no, he's not. Okay, Candace. We're going to go talk to your son real quick. Mom, why? Come on. Let's go to his room. Bro. Chester. Man. All right, I'm gonna knock on this kid's door. Okay. Calling him this kid, like he's not eight feet tall. Tommy? Is ridiculous. What's that noise? Tommy's neck is so floppy. Why does it look like that? Tommy, listen. The way you've been behaving <laughs> is unacceptable. And we know you... The look that Parker gave to Chester... The look that Parker gave to Chester before he started just parenting the fuck out of Tommy is honestly one of the funniest ever seen in my life oh my god i love these videos so much oh my god i love them oh man <laughs> like what is <laughs> anyways 
Tommy, listen, the way you've been behaving is unacceptable. And we know you've been disrespecting your mother. Disrespecting her? <laughs> Troubling. What did he say? If you don't stop misbehaving, we're gonna take your mom away. He hit him with the government alone. name. Parker said, Thomas, don't you turn your head 360 degrees at me when I'm talking to you. He really said, I am not the stepfather. I am the father that stepped up. Like Parker as father of the freaking year. <laughs> Thomas, if you don't stop misbehaving, we're gonna take your mom away and leave you here alone. Oh, he doesn't like that. He's like, man, I've been acting out, but you're kind of cool. I think he'll start acting better now. Oh, never mind. No, he's he's actually acting out. Oh my god, that's so loud. Bro, are you okay? This kid has gone too far. <laughs> In the last react, Tommy was drinking his mother's spinal fluid <laughs> out of her back. And he has fully put her into like the most terrible state by quite literally feeding off of her life force. But now he has gone too far. <laughs> the special effects on the door. was <laughs> Incredible. I, I'm, I'm gonna turn it down because it was so loud, but honestly, that was like, like, Hollywood could never compete with this. Hollywood, what, what the hell do we need to, to watch movies for during the SAG strike when we could just watch this? You know? Okay. I think you'll start acting better now. <laughs> It's so good. I love that Chester is concerned, but not too concerned. Like, Chester's not concerned enough to, like, jump in. You know what I mean? Bro, are you okay? This kid has gone too far. Come on, we have to tell Candace about this. Dude. I think, like, crazier things have happened in this house, unfortunately. I think that was, like, one of the least insane things that's, here. things that's probably happened. All right. Oh, she's getting a doing? sponge she's bath. Her bath. Stop crying. This is your fault. This house most definitely has showers. You know what I mean? But really what great sister. Let's go. We shouldn't be watching this. Bro, something terrible is going on here. She's black. I love Parker so much. We shouldn't be watching this. As if you have not violated these people's privacy in way worse ways. What happened to her back? Let's go. We shouldn't be watching this. Bro, something terrible is going on here. She has black and white marks all over her skin. What does she mean she let him do this? Did Tommy do that to her? Probably. Well, we gotta ask her. Let's set up some cameras while we wait for her to finish her bath. Bro. Chester has truly had it. Like okay, up to so here with his boyfriend. Start setting up some cameras in this house. Last time they did this, Tommy did not really like the cameras, so we'll see what happens. But okay, let's go put a camera in Candace's room now. <sighs> All right. This is her room. I'm gonna knock. Okay. Candace? Do you hear that? What's that noise? I don't know. Candace? <laughs> oh, Tommy. Oh, Thomas. He's sucking your back. We knew he had a thing for spinal fluid. This is not like a new revelation. Oh, he's eating his tongue like a fruit roll-up. Let's go tell Doris. Okay. <laughs> Doris. 
What? Wait, why are you wearing your jacket? Are you leaving? I don't sleep in this house. Not with Tommy here. Yeah, we want to talk about him. We just saw his mom. It looked like he was sucking her spinal fluid out. Oh yeah, you know, she lets him do that. Wait, what? She lets I her don't... son suck her fluids? Yup. This has been going on for a long... Parker, there was a better way to... Long time. Okay, well listen. That was just such a weird thing to say. That's fine. I have to go now. I don't think Doris gives a shit, Parker. Bro, but why do you want to sleep here? Not even her sister wants to. Because this he wants to we cuddle, want to Chester. How do you not feel bad for Candace? Because this is disturbing. Tommy's literally sucking the life out of his mom. Bro, the fact that we're even here right now is a blessing. We can't leave Candace again. She's not safe here with Tommy. Yeah, neither are Parker we. Parker has a savior complex. Listen, Doris mentioned that Tommy's been acting even worse. We have to record him tonight to see what he's been doing. Let's just go to sleep. Let's get into bed, babe. Bro. Fine. You know, Good night. they should never go to sleep angry. They really shouldn't. We go to sleep. Wow. Look at them. It's 12.30 at night. Okay. I just know Tommy is going to start doing some crazy shit. You know he grows at night. We already know that. There's Candace. Looking just like her life force has been sucked right out. Tommy's going to grow again. This is exactly what happened last time. Oh, no. He's going spidey mode. He just gets like long legs. <gasps> no. Okay. Oh, Tommy's getting warmed up. Oh, he's he's cracking out the old muscles. Where are you gonna go, Tommy? Where are you gonna go, Thomas? Oh, he's climbing out the window. He's rebelling again. This child <laughs> Parker is gonna give him a stern talking to in the morning. What did he what was he up to? Did he, did he bring back anything? He just Oh, I think he went out. I think he like left for 3 hours. Oh, yep, he definitely has some Oh, I knew he would see the camera. Tommy doesn't like cameras. He doesn't like cameras. We know this. I did not know that was going to happen, and I paused it literally a second too late. <sighs> Dang it! I don't want to know what he does to the cat. I think he eats it. I think he eats the cat. I hate it here. I really hated that. I hated every moment of that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tommy, no! Hi, Amanda. Literally... <laughs> I'm not a man that's saying me when I see food. Terrible timing for me to read that. Yeah, I don't want to know what he did with the cat. Okay. Good God. Sorry. That got so loud. Oh my God. Tommy definitely ate the cat. Tommy definitely ate the cat. I'm really sorry to say it, but <laughs> R.I.P. cat. Tommy ate it. I, do, I have a feeling he's not full. 
and we're about to see him walk down the hallway like a total creep. It took him 20 minutes to eat that cat. It took him a long time. Oh boy, there he is. He's going into his mom's room. Man, they probably should have locked it. Those lovebirds are too busy snuggling up in dreamland to help. Oh, here it comes. The face is incredible when he shoves his tongue into her spine. Her face. Oh my god. Okay, so we just woke up. Uh, I just texted Doris and told her to meet us back here so we can all review the footage. Uh, let's go downstairs. Okay. I love that Chester puts on his sunglasses first thing. Oh, she's still here. She's still alive. That's good. That's good. It's even worse. Okay, let's see what Tommy was doing last night. <laughs> All right, so no. Like he left his let's see when he gets back. Dude, there he is. It looks like he's carrying something. Candace, do you know what that is? Uh. No. Yeah. No. Okay, does it show it again? Oh. Okay. He he's just eating it in the corner. And he went into the hallway, and then into your room. Candace, he's sucking you again. I know. I know. Parker, you, you can not... surely word things better. You need to pack your bags and get out of the house with me. I can't. You know I can't leave him. He's hurting you. You don't have much time left. He's sucking out your insides. I can't leave my son. Oh, that Candace. Is it even your son? Tommy's she... gone. Okay, well, we need to go to Tommy's room to see what he was eating. No, he rests at this time. Okay, whatever. Then we're gonna have to stay. Candace said he's taking a nap. Dude, no. They're gonna stay a second night. So Tommy just woke up. He went to the bathroom. So we're gonna of course go they're staying another night. See what he was eating. Um. Oh, what's that smell in here? It smells like rotting flesh. <laughs> rotting no. flesh, Jester. He's been escaping through here. The window, yeah. What's in there? Chester always looks a little too hard and finds something that he regrets finding. That is one thing I've noticed with him. His his invest. Chester, what did you find? Oh no! It's like a trophy room of all the pets he ate. Dude, what the hell is he keeping in this bucket? There's a living blob in Tommy's closet. So not only is Tommy acting out, running away in the middle of the night, he's also going through the craziest growth spurt and eating cats. And now this man is keeping a living, breathing blob, a sentient creature. Wait, is Mikey here? Hi, Mikey. Hi, I'm watching Life of Luxury, Mikey. <laughs> I can't stop watching them. I can't stop. Mikey, everybody in chat keeps telling me we need to go ghost hunting together. They keep saying we need to go ghost hunting. I've gotten like three comments like that in the last two streams. I mean, a lot more people have said it than that, but that was like three super chats. So the people want it. Back to the blob. What? Dude, it talked to me. I don't know. But let's block off his window before he gets back. Parker! Parker will do anything. Okay. Anything. Okay. Parker will do <laughs> Parker will do anything but leave a home. Parker will do anything but self-preserve. It's honestly the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. 
where are we going? You, you know, there are a lot of options. We got to find a place, though. I love the blob, and I love that Parker won't even view it. Bro. Oh, it's so loud. Okay, let's go talk to them again. Okay. Okay, get over here. Sitting in the dark, you just sitting in the pitch black. How are you feeling? I would say not, morning. I would say not good. I don't think she has much time left. Candace, are you still with us? Doris, I think you need to stay here tonight in case something happens to your sister. I can't. I can't do it. You the family to. drama don't you here. Want your sister? <gasps> I do. I just I'm so afraid of Tommy. Parker's Listen, really trying to heal the family dynamic. Right she might not make it through the night. I do have to quickly ask, why is Candace, why is Candace making the Jenna Marbles face? Why is, why is Candace making the Jenna Marbles face? Like, that's literally the Jenna Marbles face. You know, you know the one I'm talking about. It's the face. Like, <laughs> you don't look dead. You just look a little silly. You know what I mean? Your sister is very weak right now. She might not make it through the night. Tommy okay. Tommy know you're here. And we boarded up his window, so he can't escape his room tonight. No. 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 What's wrong no. with her? He did to me. He did to me. What happened to her teeth? <laughs> he needs to eat. Her head's all scrambled. She doesn't know what she's saying. No. Let's just go. No. Okay. Parker! No. no. All Parker does is gaslight. All Parker yeah. does is lie. Of Tommy's door so we can't escape. All right. You think that boarding up his door is going to keep the eight foot tall okay. six year old Scored boy? Okay. Lock Candace's room. Lock something. I'm begging dude, you guys. There's no way those boards are gonna hold him back. Chester you know understands. Chester gets here. it. You saw what was in his closet. Those boards will keep him trapped in his room tonight. But why'd her sister say that's not her son? What the hell is he? Some type of beast? I don't know what's wrong Some with Some type him. of beast? Not only beast? has he been doing God knows what to this neighborhood, but he's been hurting his mom. Yeah, and trapping him in his room is just gonna make him more angry. He can get as angry as he wants, but we're not leaving until we're sure he can't hurt Candace anymore. Let's try to get some sleep. I wonder if Chester is jealous because Parker very clearly has a thing for Candace. Like Parker does want to be Tommy's stepdad. Not the stepdad, but the dad that stepped up, you know? Night two. We're on to night two, baby. Um, Rainin Star said the one with the evil doll is one of my favorite ones uh, from them, by the way. Or TBH, sorry. It's really scary and funny. I tried to send the title, but it wouldn't let me send. Probably, there was probably some word in it that uh, got filtered, but that makes so much sense. I'll have to, like, look that one up. We'll watch it in our next, um, <laughs> we'll watch it in our next, uh, our next uh, react to, uh, life of luxury also rick vogue said i want to thank you for being so wonderful your videos help my depression i love you and you're the sweetest person on earth thank you so much for saying that you're so so very kind thank you i love you thanks for being here and then mandy day said good night y'all sleep tight don't let the tommies bite good night mandy if you're still here thank you all for uh the super chats and for all the support Lulu B, thanks so much for five gifted memberships. That's very generous. Congrats to all the members who now, or all the people who now get memberships to the community. That's so nice. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget after the stream, if you got a membership tonight, I know there were a lot of you actually who got memberships tonight so far. Um, we have 60 new members. If so, don't forget to check out the members tab here on YouTube, okay? Because it's, it's really fun already, but it's about, I'm like about to start posting there daily, <laughs> like hourly. It's going to be 24-7. I don't even know what to do without my fan house. <laughs> All right. 
I just want one shot of them cuddling. Just one. Oh, man. And now Tommy is most certainly going to come after his aunt. Is most certainly going to come after his aunt. Is he self-soothing or is it a warning? <laughs> what is it, Thomas? Oh, Doris. I knew we were gonna oh, that's really close to snuggling. I would I would borderline call that a cuddle. They're really like I I would almost call that a cuddle. He can't get out. He can't eat. What happens now? He comes and he takes Doris's spinal fluid next. Oh dear. Oh Tommy. Oh Yeah. Trying to break out. Um, hi, Maria Arts. <laughs> also, Shrek is God. Sorry, it's BTW. Tommy isn't eating cats. He's eating skin. I thought I heard a meow. Is he? Wait, what? Anyway. Interesting. Good everybody. Aw, Dory. Thanks for joining the channel memberships. I love you. You don't have to do that. I love you. Thank you so much, Dory, my little angel. He's real angry. He wants he wants it. He's throwing a tantrum. They are definitely cuddling. I love how there's this man on all fours, and I'm most concerned with my ship. Why did they not lock her door? Remember last time when they put, like, a chair under the doorknob, and they were like, this will be fine. This will be fine. Yeah, he clearly broke through the boarded-up door, and now he's just going to waltz right into his mother's room. Because nobody locked it or closed it in any way. Oh, my God. And Candace knows it's going to be bad because he didn't get to eat. <laughs> like, all Parker does is make stuff worse. Every time, and her face just goes still. She's like... She's deflating? What? She's gone. Oh my God, she's gone. Oh my God, he killed her. Oh my God. Oh my God. And now he's gonna come after Doris. I know it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh! Is that their room? Is that the lovebird's room? No, it is, Doris! I knew he was coming after her. I knew he was pissed. I knew he was coming after her. Amanda said, hi Amanda again. Uh, Thomas looks like he's constantly <laughs> fighting the urge. Tommy looks like, Tommy truly does embody, now that I know he's six canonically, he really does embody a six-year-old kid who just screams terrible things on like Fortnite. You know what I mean? And then Max said, me when no do dinner. <laughs> Laura, welcome to the channel memberships. Thank you. Oh, thank God Chester woke up. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Listen to that. I think Tommy escaped. Tommy really has a thing for busting down doors. Bye, 
Hi, Doris. Hi, Doris. Tommy? Is she in there? Oh! <laughs> what happened to her? myself she has an empty sack of skin <laughs> she looks like a burlap sack that somebody drew on with a sharpie oh my god what happened to her doris me when my period starts <laughs> me this week oh they're reviewing the footage Come no on. they're not oh, oh. Candace. No. candace is alive I thought Candace was definitely dead. Not another cliffhanger. He is just dragging her. Bro, it's not too late. Let's go in the woods and look for that. No, let's go home. Come on. Dude. No, 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 there's a front door. There's a front door, Parker. Parker. Oh, no. Oh, her hospital gown is gone. So she's just running through here all naked. We went into the woods to look for Tommy and Candace, but could not find them. Since filming, we've heard complaints from people who live nearby about loud, wailing noises at night. We are unsure. Sorry, that wasn't dramatic enough. We are unsure if Candace is still alive. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let's try to smash no, 100 likes. No, thank you for making this video because what a freaking masterpiece god i love this i love this channel i love this channel it quite earnestly is everything to me finding out about life of luxury has like maybe been the only thing my mental health is holding on by a string and i'm pretty sure it's that string is about the the density of a life of luxury video unreal un freaking real wow I never did fix my lights, did I? No, I did not once. Well, yeah, we need a part three. I mean, surely, surely they left it off on a cliffhanger like that so they could, um, they could, they could give another part. But they put up part two a month ago, and and uh, part part one was posted two years ago. So I I really hope it doesn't take another two years to get a part three. You know. Life of luxury lore, man. God, I love this stuff. It's so good. Um, all right, we're going to put on some music. And I think I'm going to chat with you guys for a little bit before I call it a night. All right. literally people dying every single episode and parker's just like we have to help them <laughs> like what the heck are you talking about um i think the shift tag is pester i think i think it's like like parker x chester but it's pester happy birthday just a random email eddie spaghetti said i must thank you for my new lol hyperfixation i love you so much eddie 
Um, Kylanta said, this is lunacy, and it truly, truly is. It's crazy. It's absolutely, it's, it's Looney Tunes. This stuff is Looney Tunes. God, I love it. I love it so much. Parkster? Parkster also works. Oh, I should order my food, actually. I should order my dinner. Um... Uh, Rain and Sarah said, I sent the evil doll thing in the live chat channel. Thank you so much. I'll have to check that out. Thank you so much for your super chat as well. I really appreciate that. All right. Let me, let me get my, <laughs> my weekly fix. <laughs> it's like, it's like tradition at this point. You know what I mean? All I do is eat, uh, hibachi on Sundays. Alyssa said, what's for girl dinner? Last super chat. Sorry. Don't apologize. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, girl dinner was an uncrustable throughout the stream, but girl dinner for realsies is going to be, it's going to be hibachi. I don't know what I want yet, but it's definitely going to be hibachi. It's always hibachi. Eddie Spaghetti, welcome to the channel memberships. I love you so very much. Thank you so very much. That one chick said you should look at Sion sometime. She writes and animates scary stories. Oh, I will. Oh my God. Wait, let me um, look that up on my phone. Oh, interesting. I'll have to check them out sometime. They have some really cool stuff. Um, What do I get from there, Louie? It depends on the week. Sometimes I just do like a little veggie hibachi. Sometimes I get a chicken. Sometimes I get a steak. Um, I don't know what I'm going to get today. I don't know what I want. But yeah, it just depends on the, depends on the hour. Cora! Hi! Welcome to the channel memberships. Love you. Thank you so much. What a great Scream Stream Sunday, you guys. I will miss you terribly not doing, um... Also, get the garlic noodles if you can at your hibachi place, because I never got garlic noodles. Um, I would just get, like, rice with my hibachi. I would get, like, the plates, but I would get, like, rice and stuff. And oh my god! The garlic noodles are so freaking good. They're so good. Also, I paused the final self-care timer because we only had like a minute left and I knew I was going to leave soon. So. Slay. Hibachi ordered. Slay. Well, not fully ordered, but. Okay. Alyssa, thank you so much for five gifted. I appreciate that so much. Five gifted members. That's very sweet of you, especially at the end of the stream. Ooh, Amanda said, um, I would like y'all, uh, some y'all soba, please. Wait, I've never had soba noodles. Is that crazy? I've never had soba noodles. Also, Shane does YouTube said, oh wait, I, I missed so many actually. Sorry, I'm going backwards. Um, let me start at Mad Dog 432 who said, finally going to bed to help my eyes. Parker was the killer in that though. He set it up for Tommy. <laughs> You're so right, dude. You're so right. Anyway, good night, Loie, and good night, everyone else. Good night, Mad Dog. Love you. Shane does YouTube said, my cousin's cat is also named Hades. Oh, sorry, Hades. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like kind of a funny name. I, I end up saying it, and people are always like, oh, Hades? Like, they'll either be like, oh, Hades? Or they'll be like, oh, Hades? Like, they'll think it's cute. 
And then Amanda said, yeah, I would like so much. Oh, Kylantis also said shrimp and scallop with that yum yum sauce. Is now a really bad time to tell you all that I'm allergic to shellfish and most saltwater fit? Like I'm allergic to most seafood. Like I can't eat shrimp. I can't, I can't eat most. I like if I get like sushi or like if I get fish, it has to be fresh water. Like I, I have like salmon. <laughs> like that's I mean there's like a couple of other like freshwater fish that I kind of like but yeah I can't have like most seafood so I don't really ever eat it because it's like I get too scared I get too scared I'll have a reaction but It was so fun to hang out with you guys tonight. I had a blast. I love um, watching new Bizarre Bub. I also know we have so many Bizarre Bub videos that we can go back and watch. Like, there's no lack of them, but it's always fun to have a new one. Oh, Wesker! Hi, Wesker is here. <laughs> Earl, see? I remember you. Loa, you're such a shining light in people's lives. I love you so much. Thank you for saying that. You're so sweet. I love you. Loey, I can't eat seafood. A couple of other seafood antis in chat. Not even that I'm an anti, I just can't eat it. I remember my mom being allergic to shellfish, then becoming unallergic. Is that weird? No, allergies, like, like I gave myself an allergy um, to soy, I'm pretty sure. I never used to have a reaction to soy, and then I stopped eating meat for a period of time and ate a lot of soy and a lot of quinoa, and I stopped being able to eat either of them and just haven't really tried again for years because I don't want to get sick, you know? Um, anyways, that was tonight's Scream Stream. Uh, thank you to our beautiful, wonderful mods for modding tonight. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. Love for the mods because they always do the freaking most and keep our community so safe and just so happy. Um, next Sunday is our charity stream. I will let you guys know the exact time and more details. I have a meeting tomorrow where I'm kind of going to be hammering out the last of the details. So I'll be making an announcement on social media. I'll post it here on YouTube. I'll remind you guys this week. I'll, whenever I post a video this week, I'll remind you then. Um, and yeah, next week will be our charity stream and I'm so freaking excited. We're gonna have so much fun. We'll have like next stream too. It won't be like um, the usual like super chats and like gifteds and stuff. We'll we'll do it all through the charity website. Um, like people end up sending me super chats and whatnot. Like I'll donate that, but just like, so it goes straight to the charity. We'll, um, we'll do it through a link and all that. So, um, it's gonna be so fun. I'm hammering out, like I said, the last of the details, figuring out what my, like, what the goals will be, um, for, you know, trying to raise as much money as we can and help out this charity. I'm just, I'm already so proud of my community because I know you guys are just as excited as, as I am. So, <laughs> um, it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so fun. So I'll see you next Sunday for that. We'll let you know times this week. There will be a new video this week as well. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you right now. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Um, no, I don't think so. I think just thank you so much for being here. I had so much fun. Mac, thank you. You said stream was a lot of fun today. I love you, Loie. I love you too. I had such a good day. It's been a very, 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 very terrible week. Um, and hanging out with you guys is just such a light in my life. And I cannot thank you enough for spending these, um, these Sundays with me. It is, it is the most wonderful end to my weekend. It's so meditative for me at this point. Makes me so happy. Um, I love doing these. I love that we get to do one of these for a really good reason. And, um, yeah, it's going to be so good. I love you guys so much. I'm going to go play some video games with my friends and call it a night and eat some good food and play with the dogs and maybe partake in the devil's lettuce, to be totally honest with you. But until next time, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, mods, for modding. Um, the fact that there's still a thousand of you in here at the end of stream is just so 
crazy to me. This community has grown so much. Um, and I just, I cannot even begin to express how thankful I am. Uh, so I will see you next Sunday and I will see you later this week and I will see you all over social media and I love you very much. Okay. Have a good rest of your week, guys. I'll see you so soon. I'll see you soon. I love you. Okay.